Bang! Needs knives. I'm Jared, and I am live with my lovely wife, Kara. Hey! How's everybody doing tonight? Do they speak English? Live with ah! Ah! I had to turn down. It's Why your did you do evil that? twin. I didn't do it. I didn't I, do I'm it. just saying I had this to This is turn. the pad we're supposed to be using. That's why. All right. Anyways, so I got the new Migoron Acri in 14C28N, and this new one feels way better. They, I think they, what they did was I think they took my recommendations. I, I'm not positive, but I think they thickened up the liners just a little bit because it feels far more sturdier. The jimping is still just as perfect as it was because this is such an easy front flipper. If you guys want like a great front flipper, like a front flipper that is easy peasy, this is the one. It's kind of like, um, the Karaki is a prop, possibly a little tiny bit easier. Um, it's a frame lock, but possibly a tiny bit easier. But they have similar action with the front flipper. And it feels like really good quality titanium clip. And the, the steel was the DC-53. This is the 14C stonewashed version. So we got a stainless steel. Stupid smooth man, that front flipper works so good, but it has the right jimping. Like, I keep screaming to all these companies do the jimping right, sharp jimping all the way around the corner, and make sure there's enough access so when you flip your thumb over, there's room. Um, what's up, Blades and Fades? Shout out to Blades and Fades, definitely go and follow his channel. He recently got monetized. Bang, bang, and shout out to. The Bang Gang um, and our T-Rex is in the house. Can What's I tell up? you something? What's up? What's up? So when you look at your chat over here, you see how it says Bang Gang, Bang Gang, Bang Gang. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, like yeah, Team yeah. Folder. Uh -huh. That's the written version of the emojis because you can't see oh. my stream. Right? So when I name the emojis, yeah. I have to give them a name. I gotcha. Okay, cool. So the little blue knife is called Team Folder. Well, um, shout out to the Bang Gang and all the patron members. I apologize. I have not pulled the giveaway yet for the patron members, but I am going to do it tomorrow. I'm off of work the rest of the week, so I, I, I got so much to catch up on, so much sharpening and just everything, so it's going to happen. Mike Emler, thank you. Thank you very much. You skipped one, and it's very important you answer it. Okay, I will. I will. Mike Emler is going live right after us. We're going to end this at 930. So he's got a live going on over on his channel. And we're going to meet up over there right after this. And let me get to this next uh, comment. And thank you, Mike. I do appreciate it. Yes, it is our anniversary today. Yeah, boy. Ed Durbin says, Kara, how's Daisy's doing this day? I thought you, you might want to answer that question. I mean, I think she's doing great. Considering that she has a stab wound in her head or... Hey, I didn't do it, so I mean, I don't know. <laughs> uh, slim midi, slim midi, slim midi. Is that what it's gonna yeah, take? Yeah, this is my slim midi. You guys like them? Uh, what are those called again? Emoji. What, emojis. You guys, you guys like those emojis? Oh, those freaking emojis, man. Oh, where did I put it? Okay, so shout out to Patrick Bailey. I wrote it down somewhere. So. Patrick has oh, an, that was hot. an Instagram. It's called the Veily Workshop. If one of the moderators can possibly, I don't know if you can actually link Instagram pages, but if you can, I think so. Link the the Valley Workshop. Shop. He's the one who's done all my work on the wall, all my woodwork. He does an amazing job. Not that flag. And um, you can talk to him about possibly getting something made. He makes different stuff than the stuff yeah. I have too. So. He, we got the knees knife sign, which is double sided. We got the, the, logo, the knife shelf. Definitely check out his work. I know a bunch of people have asked me about the woodwork, so that is who who does them. And oh, uh, go and follow his Instagram at the very least, and you can see what he's uh, coming up with next. Thank you for all the happy anniversary. Thank you guys. Yes, we do appreciate it. Thank you oh. very much. What's up? They want to know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, tell them. Um. So. I slipped and fell at work on. She mouthed off. That's what happened. <laughs> to who? Myself. <laughs> um. So yeah, I I have this refrigerator in my back room. That... I meant to me. That's what oh, I, meant. I didn't even like at work. No, I meant I'm to sorry. Me. This happened at work. I was. I have a refrigerator in my back room, 
it's kind of sinking the floor in. Got water on my shoe. I wear non-slip shoes, so there must have been milk mixed in the water, which the fat in the milk can make it slippery. Long story short, slipped, fell, broke my wrist in uh, the distal radius and the scaphoid. So I got one of these cool casts. And Dermot, thank you. Whoa! Damn, 50 bones. Thank you, Woo! brother. Holy shit. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Wow, 50 bones. Ding, 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 ding. That is so awesome. Love the sweatshirt, Kara. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, man. Holy Did shit. Did you even read it through all that? Yeah, I read everything. Thank well, you, thank you. you. The sweatshirt. Oh, sh oh yeah. Not a pepper spray. Kind of <laughs> girl. Um, so we're gonna pull up, we're gonna talk knife stuff, we're gonna talk about whatever. I don't have anything written down, but I do have some stuff up here that I did want to bring up. Somebody brought up to me, and I haven't looked at them yet. I was gonna wait to look at them with you guys. Um, excuse me. Um, Blade HQ has some let me look it up really quick. It is my knife flipping arm, you guys. <laughs> I'm left handed. So, yes, it actually is my dominant arm. Yeah, and that's that's us. I got really frustrated, honestly, because um, they I'm casted sorry. my thumb. And so that's that's I've had a cast one other time in my life. They did not cast my thumb and I didn't mind the cast that much. In this instance, I'm it's so frustrating. I can't grab anything like ah! it makes me so mad. So I keep taking it off. So they should have never made take offable casts. Blade HQ has some coming soon stuff. And thank you to the person who brought this to my attention. So they have some cool coming soon stuff. And one of them, some of them, I haven't looked at it yet. So this is my first time with you guys. Um, I have tried that bull knight, that bull mastiff. It's pretty cool. I did not like it at first because of the way it looked, but it's pretty cool. Now, I did recently pick, pick up a purchase. Um, what did you get? I'll show you. It, <gasps> it's kind of expensive, but I'll show you guys here in a second. Is it a knife? Yes. Uh, now, this is one I'm really interested in. Um, I'm hoping Savivi's going to send it to me. This is the Conspirator. Um, I thought it said the Constipator. The Constipator That's by Savivi. That is a good name. That is a good name. That the is a good name. And give it a stiff detent. Yeah, because like, <laughs> oh, I was more thinking like if you stab someone with it, it would like uh, constipate them. Oh, uh, I wasn't thinking they that. They wouldn't be able to poop. So the cutting edge, they're not saying. Yours is perfect. They're not saying, what are they not saying with the cutting edge? Oh, the cutting edge length. Okay, so it's basically a 3.5 inch blade, nitro V, drop point. Hey, mom. Nice fuller. My mom's in here. Yeah, hey, mom. Happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you, mom. Um, but this looks very awesome. But there's something else I want to show you guys. Hopefully, we can find. <laughs> Ed said I told you hell. that 14C sucks and that I didn't. Hey, didn't you hey, take hey, you can't say that. Hey, you don't say that. I don't say that. You don't say that. Um, where is it at? Whoa, look at that! I haven't seen that. What is that? I didn't see this at Blade it's Show or anything. The curvaceous, like me. The curvaceous. What a fucking name. <laughs> the curvaceous. That's hilarious. Um, it looks kind of cool, but it, it, the weird thing about it, it and I'll say right now, it doesn't make sense. But we got John Evans in the house ding, 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 with the 10 bones. Thank you, brother. Oh, I didn't even pull it up. What up? Thank you, John. I do appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. That's the only, I can do that emoji perfectly. Yeah, you can actually. Perfectly, yeah. They eh. can't see it in frame. Sorry, I keep forgetting that I'm like out of frame. Um, thank you, John. I do appreciate it, man. Um, the curvaceous, ah! the one the thing Easter carry only knife the constipator because you can't <laughs> really that. That's, That's why it's called that. So this one's 20 CV. It's a trailing point, 3.7 inches. It's a pretty big knife. Now, the one thing I have an issue with, not an issue, but it's a trailing point with a dual grind. It's got a hollow and a flat. John Evans with the 20 bones. Thank you, man. Ding, Holy ding, cow. Ding, 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 ding. Damn. Thank you. Thank you so much. Holy dang, shit, John. I love seeing my ding emoji. That sounds weird to say, but Let I love it. Let me see it over here. Oh, emoji. the ding, 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 ding. Here, you can see it right here. Thank you, guys. Ding, thank ding, you. Ding. Holy cow, It John. looks so much better in yellow. I'm so glad I changed it. Oh, my slim midi looks so cool. Let's, in a minute, when you're done with what you're doing, yeah. let's pull up my slim midi. Okay, we'll do that in just one second. Because I'm proud of that shit. So the dual grind, it almost has a, um, I mean, I know, don't get me wrong, I know it's a trailing point, but it's almost a straight back, right? What is with the um, actual grind? What's it's going a dual on grind. Oh, yeah, but wow, isn't that kind of weird to have like that? Like what? They only have two pictures? It almost, that. Fuckers. That's annoying. Um, 
that part it's a dual grind so I know, it's but thicker that, up there is that make why for that's why? what i was saying so for this type of knife that doesn't make sense no. so on a tanto it makes sense and the reason why guys it looks like it's trying to be like almost a japanese tanto but like that's it's what not. it's trying to be that's what yeah but be. like the grind is like that but a japanese tanto is going to be a straight back so right. the the diff the weird. the problem with this is with the dual grind the reason why a dual grind works well with a straight back a tanto because a tanto in a lot of cases is a straight back but what it does is it gives you the leverage from the spine of the knife so when you're pushing with the, with your knife if the tips back here right you're not getting leverage you need the tip or the front, the thickest part, which it would be the, the dual grind, to be straight in front of the pivot, or at least straight in front of the spine of the handle, so that you have leverage for the things you're going to use something thick with. This, to me, is kind of a, I don't even want to call it a hunting knife, because a hunting knife would be nice and thin. This, would, to me, looks like, like kind of like a self-defense knife. Cool. I think it's supposed to be like a self-defense knife. It's, just all a right. looker. it's a looker. If you even like that look, I really do. Um, all right, let's get to the next one. Now, I'm looking up. There's supposed to be yeah, some. Yeah, what are we doing right now? What is this? Oh, I have one of these coming, by the way. Where's oh, that? here's another new knife I didn't know. you have know. a constipator coming? I have a constipator coming, yes. Hopefully soon. 259 coming soon. Uh, What's no. that? What's the name of that? Uh, Quixotic. Quixotic. Yeah, Quixotic. <laughs> it's quick with it. Like, because you just got to break it down. Quixotic. It's Quixotic. You just got to do it quick. Quixotic. Um, Go to the close this picture. This one's a drop I don't point. Like, you know why I don't like this one? What? Go to the close picture. All right. Because honestly, it's kind of classic wee boring. Am I wrong? It is very simple. But the one thing that wee does that I do like is on their simple knives, on some of them, not all of them, they have little fine details. And I don't mind Who's the it? designer? I don't mind it. I don't mind the blankness on the blade. Like, I know a lot of people love that. But, like, I feel like we have a wee knife that looks so similar to that right now. Like, the color and everything. I just feel like it's a little repetitive. Wee is the, the it's an in-house design. So, you know it's going to be similar. And, I mean, materials and fit finish and all that stuff. Like, the subjugator and the, uh, the beacon. Which... I love both of those. However, I don't think I would like that as much as the subjugator and the beacon. But here we go. Here's um they got the micarta version with titanium. I do like the bolster look of the curvaceous. Oh, your um, arms are getting big. And yeah, I really like the micarta conspirator. Let's go to the next page because there's something they're supposed what to. What is that? That's stupid. Oh, the quaking. It's the dirty bird. <laughs> I like it. The name. Self defense knife. It's gotta be. I mean, yeah. I guess you could use it like a scraper. It's a fixed blade. I didn't just realize yeah, that. I thought yeah, it was a full. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, no. It's what a, a multi-tool, I think. You think it's a blade oh, and multi-tool. Dirty bird, Aguila. Dirty bird. Do you remember the time on a live when I asked you like all the things in every blade HQ category to see what knife you ended up with? Like uh, your quote unquote uh -huh. favorite knife yeah, by yeah, picking yeah. like your favorite handle material, weight. Range. That uh -huh. was kind of fun. Yeah, no, that, that was, was cool. Eight hundred and sixty dollars. Holy what is that? shit! It's the an Elden, Elden Tally. Tally. Nine hundred. That sounds like the name of a pub in an old like fantasy bar back in the medieval times. The I mean, Elden Tally. It must be a handmade. Come brew with the Elden Tally, mate. That's what it I need like. to get hook up that mouse. Go it... off. Yeah, I know. I wanted to open up for you. Can I have a coffee? Yeah. Okay. So the Sog Aegis. Looks pretty cool. Does it though? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's assisted. It's got an FR on. No, it doesn't look that cool. Why, Why is it? It that? always does this. Why does it Why always do that? Why did you say that? Okay, so whoa. What's that chunk? What is it's this? Sword. The one zero. Two hundred seventy-seven dollars. That's that interesting. Mirror is hell, yeah. Um, it looks like that cheap kind of mirror look though. 3.1 inches. That's kind of cool, I guess. It's different. And SOG's really turned turned up. They've uh, been doing a lot better work than they used to. Um, Here's a multi-tool. SOG Flash. Tweet, tweet, tweet. I'm looking I for... I need a multi-tool. How about we play a Let's Buy Kara multi-tool for our no. anniversary? Why? You got one. What? You... Yeah, I'll show it to you but later. But I need... I need certain things. I know you don't. Specific... I know you don't. Things. We'll, we'll get you on that. Okay. 
Uh, I guess we can't buy a lot because they'd see our credit card. But you could take it off. We'll on get you screen. one. We'll get you one. Don't worry about it. We'll get you one. I think that this is kind of cool. It kind of has a little bit of a rockstead look. Yeah. It Thank you, Transparent does. Knives. I appreciate that, Brian. It Shout out to Transparent does. Knives. Guys, go and follow Transparent Knives on Instagram. Can you go back and take this down so that it's not blocking part He's of the He's doing amazing, amazing stuff. Go and follow. Here he is right here. Um, shout out to Transparent Knives. Brian, go and follow his channel on Instagram or his page on Instagram. He's doing amazing stuff yeah. over there. You're not going to want to miss the stuff he's doing he, for sure. All right, Jared let me go back was down. pumped when he found out that trans Transparent Knives was going to do a knife for him. Pumped. What is going pumped. on? They're supposed. Yeah, I was. I he really was. was. I was pumped. I was pumped up. Yeah, he was pumped. He did like 20 reps of curls just because he was so pumped. Yeah. I, I got to go work out. He turned into a total Chad. What is like going on? Minutes. Is there supposed to they're be cold steel? They're coming soon. No, they're supposed to be cold steel here. Okay, can I just, let's just go to the cold steel page. No, they're not there. I already checked. Why? Because they're supposed to be in the coming soon section. Oh, yeah. But I checked the, um, I checked and they weren't there. You went Maybe up. they changed though by now. Yeah, uh, you check. didn't check just now. Here, I'll do it. Uh, That's true. I checked old earlier. Old steel. Just really quick, and then we'll get to Let's something. Let's make else. a competitive company called Warm Steel. Nope, it's not there. Oh, I thought you were saying no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. What is it called? I don't know. There's oh, supposed to be new ones. There's supposed to be. They, I think they're supposed to have an access lock or something, and then uh, a couple new knives. But I don't. See, oh, damn, baby. Sorry. Let me just do this. Yeah. Um, I do love the Code Four, though. Oh, I love the Code Four. Spear Point and the Tonto are my favorite ones. I mean, all of them are great, but uh, Spear Point and Tonto. Um, they get the recon one. All right, let's close this out. <clears throat> Maybe we'll bring up another knife page. Maybe somebody else knows. I don't know, Daniel. Somebody brought it to my attention earlier, and they said, "Hey, I'm Blade HQ's coming soon. Check it out. There, um, that they have cold steels there, and there's they supposedly had one with an axe. It's like I don't know. I haven't seen it, so I it's not from me. I was just told that. Can I ask you something? Yes, baby. Right now on the screen, does it look like my eyes are closed? Yes. They are wide open. They're not wide though. They are wide. Is like this? No, that's my... wide. No, it's because my eyes are brown. Hold on, so like, Hold on one like... second, guys. Hey, hey, brother, I'm live right now. I'll call you back. Hey, Eric. All right. All right. Happy oh. Oh, he was saying happy anniversary. I heard him. Thank you, Eric. If He's not here. watching. Is he watching? <laughs> I don't know. Thanks. I'm just saying, just in case. That's funny. That yeah. was Jared's cousin. Yeah, that's not. He's our... been in here before, right? My... Where's Breeze? Yeah, we're yeah he's been in here. We're Breeze. Um, the only song I own. What's up, Lindy Lou? Shout out to Lindy Lou and Richie B. Knife Modders. Go and follow their YouTube channel. Doing awesome stuff over there. They go live on Monday nights. The only song I own is a free song. I did, Lindy. I did. It confiscated my hair. years ago working at a concert. No shit. Can I talk about my hair, please? Um, I don't own a SOG right now, but I've owned SOGs. Yes. Talk about your hair, baby. Thank I know you, you just can't wait to talk about your hair. Lindy asked. You told me I could talk about off-topic things you. if they asked. So everyone started asking about video go ahead, games. Go ahead, go ahead. Right. Don't, 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 don't <laughs> do said, it. He said if you guys asked, I could answer. No, um, yeah, I dyed my hair purple. We just changed that Purple. My hair is naturally this dark. This is my normal hair color on top. And you really can't see it because these lights are almost so damn bright that you almost can't tell. But yeah, no, my hair is a pretty strong color purple. Look at it in real life. You. Look at it in real I life. I know in real life, baby. But like it looks really purple, but look and on it, the camera. Get, I know, it's getting it looks more brown. Purple. Well, that's just camera for you. Well, it's purple, guys. It's, yeah, it's very purple. But it's like a brown purple. It's not like a whole You want me to zoom in on the purple? I could do that. No, it's okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's okay. As long as they know it's purple, that's enough for me. What's the instinct, Jim? I can't think of it. The Something instinct. That I have. Uh -huh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I have good instincts, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. Thank old you. Recon 1 had... Wait, Old Recon 1's had an access lock? Really? I didn't know that. But then again, I... You you know, to be honest, I... I wasn't really big into the cold steels before I really got into the community. The community introduced me to cold steel. Really? And yeah, and to be honest, I I thought they were so ugly when I first seen them. I thought they were literally like something like wait 
you didn't tactical. S- yeah, I used to think that too because they do sell some products. They're that are very kind of tactical. Silly. But the thing is, is though they're the real thing. That's but the that's ye- the thing. Is that like they look like the thing that the the gas station knives are trying to be, except for they actually are that. Um, you didn't know about Cold Steel prior to like when you start when we started the channel and stuff. Not not good. I didn't know him good. I'm sure I'd see. But you knew them. the brand though, right? Probably not that. But yeah, I had heard about them because I seen them in magazines and stuff, but like I didn't know them. Okay. I was gonna say because that was like one of the only ones I knew because uh what? What my mom says your hair is beautiful. <laughs> Thank it's, you. It's, it's beautiful. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate it. But yeah, that was like one of the only brands I knew sure. because it was like they sell them in places. Where like Walmart, you know what I mean? So like I had seen Cold Steel a lot because they actually sell in a lot of common retail places where other things don't. You know huh. I mean? Yeah. What do you mean, huh? I was just reading this. Yeah, what's the rule book? What are they talking about? A tit for Somebody the Somebody was like, I want to see this rule book. What's the rule book? I don't know. When people got in here. 84 watching. Shout out to out. you guys, man. Thank you guys for hanging with us. Hey, did you hear? Oh, yes, I did. Did you hear about the Hoback announcing their knives are not USA made today? Like all of them? Well, so I, I don't know the whole thing, so I'm not going to pretend to know. But I heard that they have maybe some parts made overseas. Um, So I guess, you know, like that they were, you could buy them on USA made blades. Well, USA made blades only allows USA made knives. And I believe like they have to be like USA made. So thing is, is that uh, there's a lot of knives you guys buy that are USA made that are not a hundred percent to be USA made. It has to be over 51% made in the, in the USA. So like parts can be made overseas. They can assemble it and then make some parts here and it can still be USA made. A lot of knives you guys like are like that. Now, there are some that are 100 percent made, but on on that um, site, um, USA Made Blades, it has to be a USA Made knife. Well, I guess they took them off because they admitted that they're not 100 percent USA Made. So I That's don't know crazy. if maybe if they just I think that they just weren't saying anything before. I don't think they gave the illusion that they were 100 percent USA Made. I just don't think they said anything. And from my from what I hear, right? So in that case. I mean, is it our fault for just wondering or thinking, or is it their fault for not saying anything? I would say it's their fault for not saying anything, but now that they have, now I guess they're going to be taken off that site. I don't know if anybody's going to hold it against them or not. Um, you know, but let me just say this though a lot of USA made knives are, have to go overseas for some parts. Like, I, I've yeah. even heard Greg Medford talk about that. He has to go to Taiwan sometimes. He tries as hard as he can to get all 100% USA made, not only tools, but parts. But there's times of the year that he has to continue making knives. And the only way that knife is getting built is if he goes to Taiwan and orders screws. He says he refuses to go to China, but at the very least, if he has to go overseas, he said he'll go to Taiwan. Is there not anywhere, I'm not, nothing against like Asia in particular, but is there not other places that manufacture things outside of Asia? Well, that, or is it just that the Asian countries tend to be that much cheaper and so people go for the cheapest? Well, I think, uh, one, you want to be able to, to get it. And like with Taiwan, there are allies. So I think. But like, why not like Canada? Because they don't probably produce them. Like even the U.S., the U.S. doesn't have a lot of no, companies know, producing screws and hardware. We're talking about liter- particularly screws in big batches that aren't going to another company because the companies that do make them, they already have uh, companies that buy them. So just because they make them doesn't mean you can get them from them because they're they're already bought. You know, as much as they can make, this company yeah. buys them. So it's very difficult to get them Travis sometimes. Travis Kirk said it's all about transparency. If the company is up front, it makes all the difference in the world. Yeah, like if you're making a knife in the United States and it's manufactured here, designed here, whatever, all that jazz. But you can't get your screws and your one weird looking backspacer here for some reason. Like, okay, uh, you know, it's better that a company tries to get as much possible here. Like, I'm not going to fault somebody because... Two percent of the knife is made outside no. of the country. If they're not made, but yeah, per- manufacture, right, parts, whatever, parts, or parts yeah. purchase, whatever the case be, um, you know, if they're building it here, that's already a much better step because that's a job for someone here 
who's building it, you know? So, yeah. I mean, I'd rather take half the non, you know, at least they're trying. Apparently, USA Made Blades doesn't even know if Holbeck makes any knives anymore. Holbeck is doing his best to keep people as much in the dark as possible. So I'm going to assume the worst. That's true. That's true. When you're not, when you're not, um, like showing your cards as right. much as possible, then it does make seem make you seem suspicious, right? Like you you want to be as open as possible about everything. I kind of like Asher Knives, right? He was so open right from the start. Listen, guys, all my parts are made overseas. They're sent to me. I assemble them. I tune them. I do everything. But the parts are made overseas, right? And he says, you know, in China or whatever. But you can respect that because they say it. Now, if they don't say it and they just keep the cards to their chest, then it's like, eh, eh something's going on. Um, uh, what? Alone, don't touch. What? What? You want me to go back? It. What was it, this one? No. This one? Yeah. Okay. Lonely Stacker says, um, make no mistake, most places in the world actually enslave their people and they make our stuff same as Rome and old Egypt. And I, this sort of off topic, but the Rome and old Egypt comment got me thinking about that because... Um, I recently learned a lot about Roman, Egyptian, Sumer Sumerian, and Greek uh, history, and um, that is absolutely true. That's how they behaved back then and how they behave now. But but that was typical. That was normal. No, I know. I just it was it was just really interesting. But I don't and think it's something like it's kind of like saying like everybody hunted their food. Like who gives a fuck? They're like literally, that was normal. No, every single society. You're missing did that. the point. I was just I am, saying maybe. that. Yeah. I was just saying it's really interesting because if you go back in those cultures, you see all the way back to the Sumerians mm -hmm. that the Egyptians stole all the names of the Sumerian gods and changed it to theirs. And okay. then the Greek okay. did that to the Egyptians. They okay. took all the Egyptian gods, gotcha. like Osiris and this and that, and they changed the names to theirs. And then Rome did that to Greek, and they all hated each other for it. Like, oh, you copied my ancestors and this and that. And it just kind of it has – it was just really interesting to me. I know do it doesn't have to funny? do with the knife company, but – Interesting, well, well, here's very another, interesting here's another history. One you can speak about this because you remember when we were reading upon this? The so I have, so I have the Spartan Harsey the folder, Aztec right? Thing, yeah. So this is called the the. Oh the, yeah. This is called the Spartan Harsey yeah. folder, the Mayan calendar, right? I get so many comments every time I post this. It's they say Aztec. it's Aztec, not Mayan. Well, I think it's also Incan too. Like well, so first of all, when we looked it up on their site, they said the Mayan calendar Spartan Harsey folder. We didn't like they did. Like take it up with them. But second of all, when we looked up the research, supposedly, and maybe you guys can look it up yourself. So because I'm not going to say I'm 100% factual about this, but when we looked it up. Um, I could have swore it said that the Mayan calendar came first and the Aztecs got it from the Mayan calendar. So technically the Mayan calendar and the Aztec calendar are almost identical. There's some, I think a couple little changes, but for the most part, they're identical. So it would be the same damn thing pretty much, but the Mayans were made first. If the Mayan calendar was made first, then this would be a Mayan calendar, not right. an Aztec calendar. Unless if you can tell me, like, nope, this little part in the corner there right there says is that tiny, it's the, teeny little differences. That's that what I mean. Made, if they like, can tell me that, then I would say, okay, it's the yeah. Aztec calendar, but they didn't call it that. So, and maybe they switched it by now. I need to put a new. Somebody edge on this. said I don't. I didn't see the comment anymore. But somebody said they actually worked for one of the last companies that manufactured railroad screws in Ooh, the United States. Oh, that's badass! You know, talking about slave labor, I fucking I've worked since I was eight years, even younger than eight years old. Um, but I had a full time job at eight years old doing con construction. My first job was technically um doing construction like with my dad and stuff but then i went to landscaping at like nine years old nine ten years old doing landscaping um <clears throat> then i went from there to concrete damn then i went from there to carpentry damn like, and this was all by the time i was um when i was 13 i went back to um to landscaping and i did landscaping until i was like from like 12 to like 15 or 16 but it's like i you know i was getting paid but you know, I was it's a kid, so too. I wasn't getting paid much. What? what I was just going to say, it's funny, too, because, like, sometimes at, like, work, if I bring you up or I'm talking to, like, a like a customer or something, I'll be like, yeah, no, my husband, he did construction since he was, like, eight. And they're, like, 18. I'm, like, eight. Eight years 18? old. Yeah. Eight, sir. Boss. He's a boss, okay? <laughs> but it's funny, though, like, when I hear so many people talk about, like, um, like, children working and stuff like that. 
And like, listen, I agree. So don't, don't, don't take me wrong. I'm not saying that that's good to, to have children working, especially in like certain types of labor jobs, but I did it. <laughs> you know, I did it not only happily wanted to got up early for that shit. Yeah. I busted my ass. I guess and... maybe that's the difference is the desire to or not. I, well, do think I also a lot had of the... to, I didn't have a choice. Yeah. So. I think a lot of the children, um, picking oranges know that that's Hell what yeah. they have to do and so it's sort of just part of the community but i do think that they don't yeah. give them fair like if you're gonna have child labor there should be child labor laws right to protect to make sure they're getting well i legally was not allowed to work i know you weren't so. but i'm saying there are child labor laws in terms of uh things like that like families when they have kids working with them and stuff like that but i'll but, be honest though like even though like like i had to work like child labor laws like I would have been devastated if they told me I couldn't work because to me, right. I wanted to not only learn, but be around the big guys. You know, I wanted to, to do what they did. So I did. I found a weird type of but Also, that's did. all a part of handling school. So if Breeze was in here, he'd tell you about it. Yeah. But no, I, if those places don't run nicely. So that's a different story. What's up, deployment holes? I like that. What's up, deployment holes? What's up, bud? Um, so, man. This is such a great knife, guys. I'm my telling you. My eyes are so slitted. I, I feel like they look closed. I can't believe I haven't gotten my uh like my Bellamy yet. What's wrong? My eyes look like they're closed and they're not. So now I have to sit here like this all night. Oh, well, don't do that. You're I'm fine. Trying not to, but look at them. Well, just why don't you look up at the camera and then it won't. You're looking down. That's why. I'm not anti-child labor. I don't think most people are, but everyone is against explo exploitive practices. I agree. Yes. I am too. I am too. I am too. And that's why, like, yes, I'm from a different time. I know, but like, yeah, you're my, from the like, 1912, right? Right. My son, though, I would totally make him work. Like, but I do agree, though, it, there is a difference. And I know I had to work. Like, I literally had to work. Um, I remember when I was a kid, um, there wasn't, uh, I came home and there wasn't uh, nothing in the fridge, nothing in the cabinet. I was hungry. Like, and I was like, Dad, there ain't shit in the cabinet. He's like, We'll go to fucking work then. <laughs> Get your ass to work in the morning then. So I did. I did. Next morning I was on the job because it was so easy for me to go to work. Like I could call any uncle and show up on the job and they would pay me to work. So everyone keeps saying I was talking back to you. Don't be doing that. I'm trying not to because I love you. Um, Todd says I was... Working when I was a kid also. Odd jobs until I got old enough, then started working forest fires when I was 16. There you go. We got a man in the house. Yeah, I um, I also, like, obviously the jobs I had, I legally wasn't allowed to have, so they had to be, like, under-the-table jobs. And then once I got to a certain age, then I was able to get, like, real jobs. I remember when I turned the age when I could actually get um, a, a legal job. Uh, workman's comp. Yeah working at it um can we do the thing we we're gonna do what is that with the knives um yeah i roofed homes until wait i wrote i roofed homes for summer mad respect for people in the construction world it's definitely a grind yes i've done that i always know when life. i get a construction worker as a customer because of their hands mm -hmm. and i always know and i always make it a point to not avoid you know like if you're doing a transaction in a retail location like sometimes you like accidentally touch like the person's hand who you're giving like your card to mm -hmm. like obviously that's going to happen a lot especially handing out coffee and whatnot i always make it a point to not like purposely avoid hitting their hands because i've seen people do that so many times to construction workers like i know that sounds weird but being in no, retail as long as i have i've seen it a lot where they're like yeah, yeah. Oh, it and I'm like, okay, first of all, that shit is the color of their hands at this right, point. It's right. not like, and what are you going to touch? Mud? A little concrete? Right, right. They have like, a layer between them. And I know that they probably don't care as much as I'm caring. Yeah. But like, I always feel bad. <laughs> Dancing for money. Yeah, I, um, my hands are really clean. Whoa, do? I don't know what the hell just Oh, happened. go to life. Oh, uh, my hands are extremely clean compared to what they used to be because I don't do construction anymore. But when I did construction, your hands are always wounded. Always. Calluses galore. Oh, my God. Cuts. Everything. Nails ripped off. Get them out of the chat. Kick them out. Who? This guy right here. <laughs> I'm studying to work for OSHA. Kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> she don't like osha 
Oh, man. Do you still use that coarse Lansky here. stone to dress and clean load up off wait, of your wait, needs? Before, no, I would. Well, what, what? I was just going to say, before what? you answer yes. the sharpening question. Damn it. Because it's going to be a while before I get to talk again. So let me just say this really quick. It won't, though. Okay, but just real quick. I just want to say, because we were talking about injured hands. I just wanted to point this out to everyone because I think it's so cool. This is how they do casts now, okay? They do plaster casts, and they cut them off of you and then put straps on them so you can take them off the shower. And I know we were talking about injured hands, and it was on topic, so I just wanted – like, that is cool. It is cool. Back in the day when I had one, you couldn't take it Think off. Think about itching. Yeah, to Itch, get a hanger. It, it's going to start to smell because you can't wash. Stinking. Oh, I, this but is you know, just the so downfall, cool. The downfall is nobody signing your cast. Well, if I had gotten a lighter color, there would nobody have been signing your cast. I could have cut the velcro thinner and made more room. Um. Anyways, so I use a lot of stones to clean my um to dress my 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 stones. So you never use diamonds, first of all, of any stone to clean diamond stones. So you want to use aluminum oxide. I use lots of different aluminum oxides. I sometimes use my Lansky stones. I have bigger stones that I use too, multiple different ones. Um. I probably have 10 to 12 different stones I use to dress my, my veneers. Now, I also use to flatten and basically bring your stones back to brand new. You want silica carbide powder and a, and a flat piece of glass because you can just put the powder, just a little cap full of powder, like a little water cap full, you know, a bottle of water. You can just take a cap full, put it on the plate. Cap full of powder, cap full of water. Cap full of water, exactly. And then stir it around, and it will bring your veneer stones back to brand new. Now, you can do the same thing with your aluminum oxide stones and other stones alike, just not your diamond stones because diamond stones, you don't do anything with them. But, but yeah, you can use whatever you want. Um, I do recommend getting some sort of dressing stone, which is basically just like your in-between stone for, like, when you're sharpening and they're going – they're getting a little um they're not they're not chewing up enough steel like they're just not working good you can dress them really quick and keep using them and then like in between like like after so many sharpenings you can just redo them basically reflatten them redress them and that will be, bring them back to brand new and they'll last a lot longer now you might just want to use the silica carbide powder instead of ever using a dressing stone but a dressing stone's good because they can get clogged I remember you. I remember you had had what had and your dad's work struck to go to work with him, and he found you when he saw mm -hmm. you peeking out. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, he hid in the back of his dad's truck. I um, I was like, uh, I think you told that on your. Well, my you? parents were still married, so I was like four years old. All right, uh, they got divorced like right before I was five, so I was like four years old. My dad came home for lunch. My grandma was babysitting me, and I did not want my grandma babysitting. She was craziest. I don't even want to talk about. It. Anyways, so I I jumped in the back of his truck, and you know how the toolbox is on the back of a pickup truck, you know, and you know how you can go underneath it, you know, because the toolbox goes from one side of the truck to the other side, you know, and it's got the the doors. Anyway, so I climbed underneath there, and he went to work with me. So I'm at work with him, but he doesn't know I'm there. And um, I, my mindset, I was so young that my brain knew that that wasn't his home truck. That was his work truck. So I knew he was going to switch trucks. That's one thing I knew. I knew he was not going home in that truck. So my plan was to stay there all night until the next day and then jump into his home truck and go home. I never had the concept of they'll miss me. They'll know I'm gone. Anything like that. All I could think about was I can't get caught. So why did you want to be in the back of the truck all night? I didn't though? want to be babysat. That was all oh, by the aunt. Okay. Grandma. Grandma. Uh, I wanted to, to be on the job with my dad. So, but my dad didn't know I was there. So um, I kept peeking out the side of the truck, like looking at him. And he was like out in like a <laughs> dirt field digging a hole. He had a shovel and he's digging this hole doing like sewer mm -hmm. and water. And uh, I kept peeking up. And then the one time I thought he saw me and I ducked down and I waited. And then right before I went to peek back up, bam, he got he me. right there. Said, what are you doing, boy? And uh, he brought me back home. But it's just crazy, though, that I was willing to stay there all night long and wait till yeah. the truck came back. And I was going to jump in that truck and then go home the next day. 
Can you imagine Sneaky if that would operation? Can you imagine sure. a four-year-old all night long in the middle of basically, I don't want to say it's a junkyard, but it was like a shop yard, you know, where the trucks sit, where the material plus sits, one, two were trailers. Alone, probably would have gotten out and gotten into some shit. Oh, fuck. You'd have been like two hours. I would have thought it was a week. I'm four yeah. years old. I'm yeah. four. But I did remember though, like that uh this is not kids my my so dad my dad is not kids are such dumbasses. But yeah, um I knew that that wasn't a truck he was going home with though. So that that's kind of smart. Like that I knew that no, that wasn't him. and well, you had the plan. Yeah, I had the plan of attack. Um, Neves Knives Live Story Time makes me happier than a tornado in a trailer park. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I um I remember uh, a tornado one time hit our neighborhood, and my buddy was staying the night at my house. Um, and his apartment building was like a block away, and the tornado. Luckily, his mom and his little baby sister now actually stayed somewhere about too. A trailer park in a tornado. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the um the whole entire roof of this apartment building. It was a four apartment building complex, pretty big buildings too. Like they're not little ripped the entire roof off the whole thing like if you were in a helicopter like they i even seen like scenes like um i don't remember i think it was on the news or something but flying over and you could see into everybody's building luckily nobody was there luckily he was at my house yeah street wise at four at four years old i was going on 24 oh my gosh that reference aged you jay friedman i'm just gonna say it he said so bright you almost got put on a milk carton you get it that is so funny. It aged him. Yeah. I, you know, it's hilarious. The reason I'm saying that is because I said that at work the other day because there's this guy that went missing. Actually, really sad story. He got uh -huh. in a car accident, right? Yeah. And completely disappeared from the scene. Just disappeared from the scene of the accident. And that's weird, right? So they go to the car. The accident happens. This dude is gone. And he's been missing. All right. All right. Just totally missing. And. It's weird. Like, who gets in an accident? And if you're going to hit and run, well, you leave with well, your car. Well, well maybe not. <laughs> Regardless, he was. Have we good, not done that? He was a good guy, though. He was a good guy okay. on all accounts. He, he wasn't the bad guy. No, gotcha. he was like young dude, whatever. Yeah. And anyway, they wound up finding him like four or five days later, um, dead in the in the woods. I think kind of by a lake or something. But what happened is the accident caused the head injury. It made him all crazy. Oh, because he was seen walking away. He wasn't running. That's why I knew like something was up. Uh -huh. The last time he was seen was walking away from the scene of the accident. Just walking and not in the direction of home. They found his work phone in a real weird place in the woods. Eventually they did find him passed away because the head injury he sustained during the car accident made him act crazy. Wow. He could have like wow. got the head that, injury that and not crazy, known yeah. who he oh, was I got anymore. it. I got it. No, that is but crazy. Anyway, point is, is that was brought up at work because they were putting up signs for the dude and I said something about like, well, how come they don't the milk carton thing anymore. I know I've had was to, like what? <laughs> I was I've like, had oh, to, yeah, you guys are literally all 18. I've had to run on foot before after a car accident. Hit that like button, guys. Thank you, Blades and Fades. Yes, the 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 like button does help with the algorithm. I do appreciate it if you guys would hit the like button. It definitely helps me out. So thank you if you guys do. Uh, my mom says that was a very scary time for me because you were missing and your dad called me and said he had you in the back of the truck. You sneaky, sneaky little, little shit. shit. <laughs> I know exactly yeah, how your mom said that. Yeah, she literally said it was like, you sneaky little shit. <laughs> I, I know remember, exactly how she said it. <laughs> I remember um, on the way home, my dad was like, what were you thinking? You know, and I was like, I didn't want to stay at home. And he was like, well, if you had just told me, I would have brought you with me. He's like, but now you fucked up. You're going back home with grandma. Oh. <laughs> if you just said something, he's like, you could have came to work with me, but you had to fuck up. Um, sorry, I thought it was someone he's else. Talking, he's not talking. I know, I see that. Jared, shh, don't tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wait. It did, and all of you came running in like a bunch of elephants in the house. Um. Hang in there, bud. It's almost over here. Okay, it'll get better. Um, sorry, I can't stay tonight. Stop to say hi. Hit the like button and catch a few um Neve's bunch bunches stories. Thank you to everyone. Thank we you, man. I do appreciate to the bigger bubble. This what? one's too tiny. Thank it you. Used to be different. I do appreciate you coming in here and at least hitting the like button. Let me fix it. I don't like that. What, what are you trying to do? Th this thing is like round and little and tiny, and I can't see like, oh. the thing. I just don't like it. 
Go ahead, just do your thing. I can't read anything. You can read over here. Anyway, I can't see it. I'm blind. Um, I got the glasses over here. I well, think. now I'm not so, sure how um, to fix it. I was gonna tell the story, but uh, it, nobody will give a. Fuck oh, here about it is. It. Here it is. Yeah, that's so much better. Not that one. Not that. It's this Pick one. That one. That yeah, yeah. one. That's Set. the one. Yeah, all right. All right. All right, we're way um, behind now, though. Are we going to play our game? Yes, go and follow Blades and Fades. Thank you, Fiend. Um, jumping gates and hitting bushes, hiding from cops. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. I like this one, too, because it shows their pictures. What the fuck is Q1 Fiend's picture? What do you mean? Flick that Wait, like button. His like, is, you flick the beam is before the game. thing. What are those things <laughs> called from uh, Halo? The, um... Oh my god, I, I know that the, the main dude from Halo baby. because it's bothering me. I am very Chief late. I had a long day. Chief. How about those Vosti nights? I'm still Chief. waiting for my Bellamy, Chief. Chief. man. It pisses me off, Chief? but I love the I nightshade, mean. man. I know a bunch of people said, man, that thing's too ugly. That thing's too ugly. Master Damn it, Chief? if you Is tried it, it you would Chief? know. It's so, so useful. Like, I can't express how useful blade shape is like this. And sometimes, Master if you have a knife, right? Like, yes. say you get a knife and you really love it. You fucking love it. Like, you, well, you don't love it yet. You bought it, right? You bought it and you're like, damn, this thing looks so cool. You get it. And then it's like, it sucks because it doesn't work very good. It doesn't cut very good. It doesn't feel good in the hand. And then what happens? What happens with it? You just like kind of stop carrying it. You like to carry and just play with it, like flicking it, you know, mm. but you don't, you don't use it. Then it winds up just kind of being a back burner knife. And what winds up filling the position of that knife, a knife that you do use a knife that you do like, that's like this. When you when you use it, you wind up finding out just how useful this blade shape is. It is so useful. Can I answer a question? No. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, Stony Reefer says, um, "How do you <clears throat> have a knife hobby and keep your wife?" I've had a buddy or two come and sleep on my couch after they had a gun store trip. Um, I will answer that question. Um, and. The way that you do it is you start a whole entire business around it in a channel so that every single time you buy a knife, you can convince your wife that it's because it's going back into the business. And you can't really argue with it because it kind of is. And there is proof She's and asking, to show no, for it. No, 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 um, no. This is the wrong way to go about it, guys. No, no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But that is a genuine reason why I don't mind the knife real purchases. Way, Wait, no. hold on. Let me finish. The, the real reason why I don't mind it is because um, I actually really love my husband and I trust that he's not going to run us into a ditch with money. Um, and I put that trust into him and let him lead in that sense. So I'm not going to uh, lose my absolute mind if he buys a $200 knife because I trust that there is a reason. Now, some people do have addictive purchasing personalities where I have heard stories of people literally running their families into the ground over buying knives. That's there's unacceptable. There's no way to win. It's unacceptable. Yeah, there's no way to that. win with that. If you're buying knives on a level that is damaging your family finances and putting your own selfishness first, there's no way to win. Then you can't blame her. Yeah, there's right? no way to win on that one. So so there's a couple things but really quick. we have that trust where I know he's not going to do that to me. And then I also know he's going to allow me to buy a Steam Deck in June. So I'm okay so with everything. So th there's two things. One, you have to have a hobby. Right? Yeah. Whatever the hobby is. So you, she has to appreciate that. And if she doesn't, then you need to find somebody else. I hate to say it because <laughs> you want somebody with you that wants you to have fun and enjoy life and have appreciation for something, no matter what it is. Whatever, if it's bikes, if it's mountain climbing, if it's rocks, it doesn't matter. The point is that you have to be passionate about something. And she should love that you're passionate about something and encourage that. And then you should do the same for her, mm -hmm. right? As long as it's a healthy thing. Right. If it gets unhealthy, that's a different story. Yep. And that's your responsibility to stay healthy with it. And she um, hopefully, as long as you are healthy with it and you show responsibility with it and a good leadership position, then she should never worry about it. Now, somebody who gets dumped or sleeps on the couch because he bought a, 
a P, you know, a pistol that or something. Pro- like I don't know their financial situation, and I don't know how many guns that person bought prior, but it that sounds a little like I'm just mad because you bought something for you, and not for us or oh, something. The, qu- the question is, but, is all your bills paid? Was all your bills yeah, paid? Yeah, there's Did a you lot have- of circumstances. Yeah, for so sure. if all his bills weren't paid and he made that purchase, then yeah, he probably shouldn't have. And but sleeping on the damn couch over stuff like that, I mean, fuck. That, yeah, that's crazy. Like, get out. Like, I don't know. That's that's a bit much. Like, it, to Jared's point, um, I've always said um, that from the start that um, seeing him have a hobby makes me happy. And even if a hobby has turned into a business. So, I mean, sometimes it changes the dynamic when the hobby is a business, right? Because then it's almost like work. That was always the intention, though. Yeah. Oh, 100%. But there was a time where I could just see that you really liked it. And um, it doesn't really matter. I mean, once it becomes like work as well, um, as long as I know he loves the work and this is what he wants to do, then. But it has to go vice versa. Like, she has to have something, too. And you need to encourage it. You have to encourage it. See, that's the thing is I'm a woman of many hobbies. I I play the piano. I love to draw. Obviously, you guys know I love video games. I recently have delved into the uh, um, ability to start doing 3D art design. I got her an Oculus. Yeah, he got me the Oculus, and it's really actually so cool. I wish I could, like, stream it on here now. Put it on the thing. Show. Yeah, and no, I mean, there's ways to (laughs) do that. It's crazy, guys. um, You feel like you're in another dimension. There's a, out of all the fun games and stuff you can play on there, there's two that I have... uh, gotten really into one of them is a meditation app it is free and it is the best thing i've ever done and number two is 3d art design like video game modeling or creating scenes and you do it in the 3d world so you're drawing and you can walk around your damn drawing it is so cool but yeah i i have a lot of hobbies so hopefully that makes me more my mom says do you remember when you put the car in gear and it started heading towards the ditch i know i swear (laughs) your dad is gonna jump through the front window um, what she's talking about, I don't really remember because I was too young, but um, my dad had um, a Nova, a 69 Nova, and I think we had a 454, and it, it was badass. I do remember the car. He used to pop wheelies in that son of a bitch. But uh, I jumped in it, and this happened actually a couple of times, but I jumped in it, and I was messing around with the gear shifter, and we had a ditch right next to the driveway, and it was kind of deep. And I hit it in the gear and it started rolling backwards. And he had to come and catch me before I went in the ditch. I did it another time at the school. My sister was in school. I wasn't yet. And I was in my mom's car. My mom was in the school. And I'm in there playing around with the gear shifter, listening to it click. And then I must have pulled it towards me and down, you know, because there's the one next to the steering wheel. And we started rolling backwards. And I was rolling towards um, Wadsworth. Oh and God. Wadsworth was packed. Oh my God, that's this road was road. packed. I know you guys don't know Wadsworth. Anyways, it was a packed road. Cars are flying by, and I keep looking behind me, and I can see the cars. So it's like, I'm going to hit these cars. My mom came out of the back of the school. She's seen that shit. She came running. Because uh, if she wouldn't have caught me, I definitely would have been hit by a car. I love the way it leans forward to get more leverage so that you don't have to raise your elbows way up. All right, nice. I'm. I think you're talking about. Um, I love the way it leans forward to get leverage. So I don't get it. I'm down to j- just four nines, so I don't run into that anymore. Shout out to Andrew Tool. What's up, brother? Down to four knives. That's crazy. What are you uh, looking at right now? That's uh, special because if you're down to four, that means you're you're pushing five. So what's the fifth one? Four knives. That's crazy. I got like 154. But I'm about to go down though, because I got I got a nice sale coming up. By the way, the rest of the knife collection videos are coming up. I took a pause on them because I had to get some shit done. And those videos, the reason why I'm not editing them or anything is because they do take a lot of work. So uh I'm going to finish those. So we're at part four. That's coming up next. There's probably going to be like eight parts, 10 parts or something. But we're going to get it done. I might just wind up putting two into one and doing them really fast. But just so you guys know, those videos are still rolling. It's kind of weird, though. They started doing worse. Like the first one did really good. The second one did okay. And then the third one, it's like... People like well, that's started... what I was telling you when I, know I watch you are. video game playthroughs, that the views consistently go down as the playthrough continues on. It's just the commitment of watching the same series all because a lot of times people either are going to binge all the episodes kind of at once if they're out at once. And I think that's also the reason yeah. it's best. 
if you're doing a series, it is best to release day, 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 like in a row. Because then people be like, okay, it's coming out the next day, next day, next day. If you split it out further than that, people lose interest in the original thing that they invested into and now kind of feel like maybe they got enough out of. And I think that's probably why. Because um, I definitely see that with, yeah. like, the video game right, playthroughs. Right, right. Um, that's what sucks about buying knives online without seeing them first or don't have a video on them yet. Yeah, I agree. I agree that if you see a knife online, do your best to try to find a video um, especially on a channel like mine, you know, just watch it on mine, but no, watch it on a, a channel that the person shows the details that are important to you. I couldn't tell you how many times I bought a knife. And if I would have just known the detail that I didn't like, I never would have bought it. But it was just that detail that I didn't know that I couldn't see through the pictures that if I did have a video on it. Okay. You want to do it? Yeah. All right, can I catch up really quick? All yeah, right. oh my God. I, I read a lot of these comments and type. All right, guys, I am <laughs> going to catch up really quick on the comments. I am backed up. Holy and I, this thing, I hate this fucking thing. Go like, all the I, know, little... I know, I know, I know. Had to get left. my addictive personality and check significantly scaled back in the knives and jumped head first back into music. Found a nice balance. Nice, nice. Music's a great hobby. I, I agree. Music's a fantastic hobby. You don't need a new gun to protect your stuff when you sell your stuff to buy a new gun. <laughs> he probably has less guns than Neves knives had. Well, Neves has knives. Well, see if that excuse works, right? Well, Neves knives has more knives than I have guns. <laughs> I used to have a oh, not as many as knives as I have now, but I remember at one time I was up to like eighty-eight guns. So I, I had a I used to have a significant gun collection. Um I I had more than that, but that's just what I had in one location. Addicted to knives. So listen to how messed up this is. My work found out what my YouTube channel was about and they did not like it, so they fired me for not having the same views and values of the company. How fucked up. What kind of view is liking knives? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, that doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. Oh, you, you don't. You, don't, you shouldn't have that values. job anyways. You should not have things with sharp edges. Yeah, be glad you're gone. Be glad. I know yeah. it sucks, but what the fuck? Get the fuck away from these places that treat oh you like God. a child. If you have a job that treats you like a child, like that, like Jesus. I understand, like say if like if you work in a job and they don't want you to have an OnlyFans or something because you're a teacher with students. I get that. Yeah, that's different. But. When we're talking about certain things that are Choose just normal <laughs> damn things, go fuck yourself. Like I don't so need this. Dumb. Like don't don't work in places like that. You got yeah, you got the best end of the deal. It does sound like a good lawsuit almost because there's nothing immoral about Look not. at your eyes. Wait, let me put one in there. Wait. You gotta look at the camera, I'm baby. Gonna, I gotta get in focus. Damn it, we can't do it. Go to Instagram now. I will be carrying my native five for, for the whole month. It is the knife that that really got me in the hobby. Nice. Nice. One month knife. I'm thinking about doing that too, to be honest. All right, Instagram. Yes. <gasps> what the hell? Don't do it. Remind me later. All right, Instagram time. What do you want? Our page. Our page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Left side, babe. You got no left. What are you talking about? Hit Over the mouse here? on the left side. No, it's freaking out because you're right clicking. Oh, oh okay. Click oh. and then go profile. I am though. Oh, see, I was doing it right. Yeah, you were. I realized that after. Yeah. The fact. Thank sorry. you. Thank you. Sorry. Thank sorry. You. Sorry. 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 All right. You I admitted my. You want this? <gasps> yes. All right. Let me show everybody. You know, this is the thing that I was drawing when you were mad that I was awake because I wouldn't go to sleep. Really? You remember that night? Get your ass to sleep. Yeah. That night. Yeah. The, the night where you kept going, get, get your ass to sleep. Get your ass to bed. Woman. Okay, guys. This right here. Wait, are we on the screen or is it all they got Instagram? It. They got it. I'm saying is our faces on here? Is yes, it all they can see our faces. Okay. So this right here is the slim midi that I drew. And the reason why I'm showing you is because I'm very proud of it. And I think it's nice to show things you're proud of and be proud of them. Anyway, the other reason I'm showing it is because this is the newest addition to the Neves Knives join button membership emoji. So if you join 
and become part of the bang gang, you too can use this as an emoji. Isn't that great? So what I'm thinking, guys, is that like maybe every month or so, I, I'm going to swap out that generic um, blue knife I gave you guys and give you like a real knife like this too. And I'm thinking maybe what I could do um, until they give us more emoji slots because you only get four at first. Um, yeah, Slimity Love. Um, until they give us um, more, I think maybe what I'll do is I'll swap out, you know, different kinds of knives for you guys to use. So maybe like a Sabenza, maybe a Rockstead, uh, you know, things like that. And I think that would be super cool. Um, to the current members and anyone really, um, you see the people with the Neves Knives logos and next to their name, those are the members. I am trying to think of something else to do just besides our logo. Those little um, badges, they change color and design the, the longer you've been a member with us. Um, and right now it's basically they change color and they get multicolor towards the end, the longer you've been with us. But I just think that's a little boring. And so I'd love some suggestions for different images I like could that. use <laughs> because I need some new ideas because I don't really like just the logo. It's so, a little bland. So shout out some ideas. Yeah. Shout out some nerds. All right. So we're going to have you check out some knives. You ready? Are you ready? Me? Yes. You. Are Wait, can I see if they give me an idea first? Yeah, they'll give me some, some ideas. Okay. Artist and sales. Thank you. No, I'm legit a good salesman. Like, like for coffee. Feel. I make people think that they. Feet pics. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for you, though. You, yeah, I'll, was, give you, I'll send you some It was feet during pics. Um, the last members live, which. Thank you, Erica. You know, I love you. Thank is you. another perk of the membership is you get these members only lives. Right? Yes, it is uh, logical. Thank you, yeah. brother. I appreciate it. Last members only live. I assisted Jared in answering questions and chatted with the chat the whole time. Oh, I thought with the it was Bang Gang fun. live? Yeah, the Bang Gang live. Yeah. I chatted with the chat like typing and I, I let Jared know about the questions so he could still focus on what he was doing without having to keep looking down. But yet he got all questions answered. I don't think there was one person that day that didn't get to ask a direct sharpening question to Jared that did not get an answer. So that's a pretty cool perk. So Sorry. let me ask you guys something. Um, <laughs> and uh, Andrew, I want you to chime in on this, especially since Bones. you just said that. So Jared's could face. always do different levels of knives for each level. Like you started a Civivi and work your way up to a Shirogorov or a rock set. So question, do you guys think? Um, Braylon as well. Hi, Braylon. Oh, hey, Braylon. Hey, Erica. Hey, Braylon. Um, so what was I about to say? Oh, yeah. Do you guys think that Shiro Gorovs are going to be obtainable still? In or is Veneve? Veneve Stones? Um, oh, man. TS Prof? Are these things are still going to be ac accessible or are we going? Because I don't know. I'm asking you guys. Are we cutting ties with all shipping? I because if that's the case, then that. Shiro Gorovs are going up in price. Um, my, idea, my dagger, uh, that means that if you guys haven't gotten Veneve Diamond Stones and you guys are wanting some, buy them now. Because they're going to be sold out. And you guys aren't going to be able to get them. And everybody's going to be crying saying, oh, I wish I would have got a Veneve Stone. But they still have other resin bottom stones. So say if they do sell out, you'll be all right. So don't waste your Listen, if you have rent money right now, don't waste on Veneve Stones. There's other resin bottom stones. But if you got the Cashola, get them. Um... They're taking Russian booze off the shelves. I know. We have to change our name because I work for a Russian booze company. <laughs> I know. Literally. Literally. <laughs> from a Russian, for a Russian So guy. we're changing our name to, uh, to I something just, else. I thought that they, like, I know everyone's saying they're not going to be attainable, but I was under the impression that the sanctions were very specific towards a specific group. Of I have no idea. That's Russian the thing. Russian elites. And it, Already it too late. Affect um, the, the common, cause they don't want to affect the common person, the common business, but I don't know. I don't know, but that's what I heard was it the same. Yeah, cause were, it does suck blaming it on the people. Right. Like for, if you stop kinda, regular trade, you're screwing over your well, whole, it's like, kind of like, know. it's kind of like Biden making some of the dumbass shit stuff he does. And then us being blamed for it. Right. But I also get it from their perspective saying we need to cut them off so that it hurts them completely. But I, whatever, all I'm asking is, are we still going to be able to get Russian products or no? That's my question. Good night, um, Lisa. 
by the way. Your mom's leaving. Oh, is she? Bye, mom. Love you. Hi, Isla. It's her birthday. She's officially two years old, and she's on here watching, too. Hey, Ayla. Isla. Isla. <laughs> I had to read it. Awesome. I know you read it, it instead of saying it. it. I, oh, I got to get that mouse. I know. I wanted to plug it. I could plug it in right now. Please. No, because I don't want to mess nothing up. It's Every time mouse. I click something, it gets all messed up. That's why I, every time like I'm on here trying to read comments. Okay, so I want to show you some stuff. You ready? Yeah. Russian products um, via way of China or North. You think so? You think they're going to just go around? Probably. They already work with them. That might be true. That might be true. I wonder if we're going to be able to, or, they're still gonna, or if they're actually going to do that. It's crazy because I had just gotten some Russian products in. But it's like now, like, why should I even do it? Because it doesn't make sense. I can't, if I do it, what's the point? Nobody can get them. Like, I don't like reviewing products that you guys can't get. And I know I show products you guys can't get. But when a company sends a product, you have to be able to get it. Um, The goal seems to be destroy their economy so they can't afford the war and the country turns you know i was watching proven. something that was yeah. proven that that's actually never worked yeah i know that's never worked in history they showed like the history of sanctions and war and yep. how it's literally never deterred that's why jack like shit. but but also though i'm not trying to get political but the fucking president we got has never been right about anything with foreign you know policies of foreign anything no, he all actually right has. so we are going to show kara this this is the Sharp by Designs Mini Tempest. Absolutely amazing. Hitting what do you think a about hard it? Robot. Um, I know that was a pretty hard robot. That was a pretty robot. hard robot. All right. Sanctions is a pussy way out. There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead. To shine? What happened to your rest care? Blade or Fred or Blade? Uh, Leap to Blade and EDC wants to know. I, I slipped and fell at work and broke some bones, boy. She busted her ass. You know, um, right. the scaf scaphoid, scaphoid, scaphoid bone. It's oh yeah, yeah. The one that one of the ones I broke. It, it shaped like a little kidney bean, but the doctor told me scaphoid is some language somewhere for little boat because that's what it looks like. The bone it looks like a little boat. I thought that was pretty cool. You, broke, you am, broke your boat. You and I, I've heard this comment multiple times, and then I'll get to this knife, that you and I are both an arsenal of the most random facts on planet Earth. Like, I get this comment all the time at work. Like, I'll be talking, and I'll just start spitting some knowledge about the most niche subject you could yeah, think of. I like the weird stuff. And then, like, another niche subject that has nothing to do with each other, and people will be like, why do you know all this? I'm like, I don't know. I retain dumb shit. Like, yeah. it's not dumb, but I I'm just the, retain yeah, like the too. most unrelated facts. And I was like, and my husband is the exact same way. I love statistics, facts, and just like, because, you know, yeah. I don't like bullshit feeling stuff. I like to know. I like facts, studies, like results. Feelings. Go ahead. Bang. Okay. Get it. Get it, boy. Okay. Um, This is a knife that I've never touched before. What is that blue on it? Oh, oh, that's part of the carbon, carbon fiber. fiber. I know what it's called, I think. All right. Um, what is it that I'm supposed to say? My opinion. Can what I guess the price it? too? Yeah. I think that'd be fun. Okay. What do I think about it? I think it's Do you want to know the company who makes it? No. Yeah. In a maybe in a minute, but yeah. not right now. Um, I think that we're out of focus and it's really pissing. Hold me it off. up and show them then. No, I mean us. We are out of focus. We're not out of focus. Um You're, you when you do that, we are. So just Okay, but anyway, this knife is... <laughs> oh, I already know who makes this knife. It's my boy, Brian Nadeau. Mew, 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 mew. Because I know that logo. Uh -huh. Because I know things. Uh -huh. And uh, I think this knife is smooth. And I'm not surprised now who made it. Because, damn, it's smooth. Uh, it looks like it's probably a Riat OEM. And it's probably about 390, 350 to 390. That's close. What's the price? That one in particular is four twenty, but they make it one about three ninety. Why'd they make it four twenty? Because it has the hand satin finish. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> you're so weird. It's because uh, it has a hand satin finish. All right, let me see it. I love it. Wait, can I analyze the looks opening for me? Because my left hand is jacked up right now. Let's let them see it too. Ooh, I love that satin finish where you can see those lines. Let them see it. I'm not I've stopping shown, them from I've already shown it. it. I just I'm I You're am, like, let I them am. see I'm, it. I'm saying let I let them see it. <laughs> I'm not saying you, I'm saying no, you. I, I know, I know. I just don't find But it. uh 
this rides on the D10 nub instead of a D10 ball, you know, because of Brian Nadeau. So yeah, I can tell. And I love that you can so snappy. do it like this with your fingers. You like this? You can open it. Is that yeah. what you mean? Okay, so what do you think about it? <laughs> Somebody said she's a keeper. What do you think <laughs> about it? I think it's dope. You I like, like it. Brian Nadeau's knives. I you mean, like you can't it. You like it. They're all pretty right. smooth and perfect, and they kind of, they kind of hit all those marks that I feel like the knife community was so gung ho on going after for a long time. The size, the smooth, the material, the everything, the the USA. I mean, that's three app. But okay, you know. so I bought a couple <sighs> Ganzos. That I Gonzo's. already owned it, owned, but then gave away oh to people and for really gift spent knives. Money on <laughs> Why? <laughs> because they're the best gift knives for people that need oh, a knife. Well, don't make me look like an asshole. Well, you are, you are, you are. So you did that to yourself. I did. Go ahead. <laughs> I remember this knife. I absolutely remember this. I don't remember what it's called, but I remember having it. It's the FH41. And let's see, what do I actually think about this? Like a real. And I want to know which one you like better between those two. After we show the people, I'm trying to decide on a on a real. These are about thirty bucks, twenty seven dollars. Um, okay. in my opinion, they're some of Ganzo's best knives. There's just two EDC knives. We have this one. I love this blade shape. Oh my god! And this is all in house designs. These are not stolen uh, that designs. Low key, I, I, was, I love this. As design. you were saying that, I'm thinking that looks like a such a rip of a um, a freaking uh, Ray Laconico, like a, a Yorkie mixed with a um. Oh, what's that yeah, one we that's have? That's just a simple. That's the, literally the drawing a of a knife design. a twelve year old would do. Can I try that one, please? So. I like this one a little bit better. I already can tell I'm going to like this one better. But this one is oh, yeah. really, really nice. I like this one better as well because the flipper tab, if you it's see. It's so comfortable, right? It's really like round. easily flippable. It's like round. And if you can notice, it has that jimping on the top. And that the round shape and the jimping allows you to just really grab on and it flings open with ease. Has a really well-balanced detent too. Like the detent is not um too strong too light it's got that perfect amount where like you're not gonna fail it unless you try on purpose i also like this little line right here in the middle of the g10 because it, it allows you to kind of have a place for your thumb while you're opening it it's almost like a a nice little landing pad like right here see i'm i'm anchored up to hold it and i have my thumb here and boom so jim i talked to him the other day um and he said that he was backing off the community for a little bit but i'll make sure i check on him again but yeah he uh he said something about uh he's backing off the community just a little bit Ooh. but he'll be back but he said he's still watching and everything Ooh. um but yeah we do need to check on maurice and make sure everything's oh, okay maurice. and make sure mars has not fell yeah um Ganzo is the best bang for your buck for sure. The Both tab. of these are really good knives. D2, I mean, under 30 bucks, and they're just like look at this. They even got a little plate for the reversible clip. Really good quality G10, most comfortable flipper tab, snappy action, fall shut um, you know, action, just stupid good for the money. Okay, can we all please agree that Lindy Lou and I look like we could be cousins? I really feel like we look like we could be cousins. Now, here's one. Two knives you've never tried. Okay. Okay? And these guys don't even know I have these because I just got them today. How many people are in here? 146. Damn it. That's 146 views I won't get tomorrow. What? When I show them. Like, every All time I knives? every time I show a knife, like, I well. will, it'll, like I'll get no views on it. Okay, so. No one's agreeing with this me. This is my <laughs> opinion that this is possibly the best Civivi knife that's ever been made. And I, I say this from a user standpoint. For somebody... Let me hear you guys just name it. If you were going to have to buy or recommend one Civivi knife, full-size Civivi knife, as a user, this is a user knife, something for somebody to use in whatever, construction, carpentry, in a, a factory, whatever. What is it? What is the knife that everybody... She slipped and fell at work Erica. Oh yeah. Busted yeah. her shit. She broke her wrist. Yeah. Okay, we got the riffle. Four head twins. Okay. Oh, yeah. Five head twins. Girl. Remember, I'm going old school on this. Something they've all that's been around. Something that's been around. Like the, one of their most iconic knives. I mean, listen. You guys hear it? Somebody's gonna name it. Full size knife. 
Somebody guessed the pin tail. That was kind of close. Well, her. I'll just pull it up and you guys name it. What is, is that? that? The... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bang. Praxis. Pra oh, they guessed it. So the Civivi Praxis, this is a knife that the only other one that I think can um, stand up to it is the, uh, damn it, what is Man, that Man, you're one? giving a lot of opinion that's influencing me. Let me feel these before I, I Well, you're going to hang on. What's that? What's okay. that one, Civivi? The Backlash. The only one that I think could stand up to this is the Backlash. And I say that because let me just explain this really quick before I hand it to you. Mm -hmm. The geometry is mega thin. It's got a full flat grind. This thing. Like the the um the backlash has a deep hollow grind, so it cuts really good. But this, I believe, cuts even better because it's thin behind the edge and it's almost a full flat. It's got a thin blade stock, thin geometry, beautiful blade shape. The ergos are hand melting. The action is stupid. You can get really good leverage on it, but perfect blade shape and perfect grind, perfect choil plunge grind. All the little details for a legit work knife a legit user this knife has and i think that this possibly is the best civivi that's ever been made from a user aspect go ahead can i just say that was now i got one more to show you guys but this one's a newer one go ahead that was really funny steve was like i'm gonna be honest i just typed what everyone else said with the praxis that just killed me when i saw it. He's like, i'm just gonna be honest i just typed what everyone else said that was funny. <laughs> no one would have known unless you told on yourself all right Oh, God, I keep going for my left hand. Okay, right hand. I know. I want to practice with. I wish they would just do a premium practice. Wouldn't that be awesome? Um, I mean, I've held this <coughs> before. Um, so, you know, it's, I don't uh, think you have. Yes, I have on multiple occasions. Okay. Somebody had them in an unboxing twice or once. Maybe it was just once, but somebody gave it to us in an unboxing. That was the um the backlash. No, they gave it to us to give away. It's a borrow, not as a give, not as a keep. Oh, oh, yeah, we had that blue one. You're right, yeah. you're right, you're right, you're right. That um, was Timbo. Yeah, Timbo. Go ahead. Timbo. Anyway, I so... Him all, I um, to him all the time. Shit. This Shit. one is... I'm not a fan, and the reason why is not because it's not a good knife, but because it is too big for my hand, and having a knife that's too big for you is like having shoes that are too big for you. The shoes might be super cool, and you really might want to make it work, but it's just not going to work, and this is why. Because when I open it, no problems. Okay, cool. Everything's good. But in order for me to actually be able to now reach the liner lock in a way where I can functionally close it, I have to do that little inch up dance with my hand and then do it. And like, yeah, that's a little bit whiny. Like, oh, okay, just inch your hand up. You'll be fine. But it's a really annoying maneuver. And then I have to slide it back out to open it. So I have to do like this. Slide it back up to open it, slide it back down, inch my way down to close it. And that, to me, is irritating. Uh, it's also a little heavy to me. Ooh, Derek, that sucks. So He said he dropped his knife and it stuck right into his foot. You know, I did that with the uh, mini dome and not as bad as a Praxis, but I was... I had the mini Doman and I was holding it like this and I was flipping it into my hand like that, like into the handle. And I, I went two rotations and almost caught the blade and i was like i'm not going to catch the blade so i just put my hands up and went right in my thigh the scoria is a really really good knife i think it's a, a great knife it's great hilarious. work knife now the one thing that stops it from being the best work knife like if we we're going to say work knife i'm not saying for like just regular edc i think it might even win in some cases for regular edc but for this the reason why it would win in work is because of the ergos this is a little thicker, so you can get a squeezed grip and really put you. The scoria pushing it through dense materials tough, be not because of the geometry, but because of the handle. It's so slim, it goes like this in your hand when you're trying to push it through materials. It does that number, so you're trying to push it through, and it's just grinding like that. This holds firm you're not it's not moving when you're pushing it through stuff you know which gives you better cutting performance yes baby do you know what a knife has just absolutely been tearing it up at work lately for me um the big daddy goblin big daddy woo -woo. uh it's called the i forget the name now i knew it uh the mother of god the nuke oh your new knife yeah oh my god i gotta go get it Best tech nuke. can i go get it yeah go ahead i'm gonna show them the this knife 
All right, Steel Forged and Fire, what's up, brother? It's all about the damn handle, Jared, my boy. What's up, brother? Yeah, the handle is extremely important when we're talking about a user knife and something you're actually going to work with. Now, for regular EDC, it doesn't matter, but for work, you have to have, like, kind of like this, put it this way. A hammer. Think about a hammer. Think about if you took a hammer and the handle was as thin as a pen and you had to <laughs> swing it. That wouldn't make sense, right? It wouldn't feel too good in your hand. And also, what if it vibrated, right? That wouldn't feel good. You mm -hmm. need something you can squeeze onto and get leverage behind. Same thing with the knife pushing through materials. Even if you have great blade geometry, you know, you could have okay geometry or bad blade geometry but good ergos and the blade geometry will work twice as good so you'll have the impression that that knife has great blade geometry just because of the ergos go ahead i love you i want to show them the cbb happy anniversary happy anniversary baby um okay this is my knife that jared got me it's called the nuke it is this a best tech mm -hmm. yeah okay it's they their logo is different um it's a best tech and I'm going to be honest with you. It's kind of shaped like, like, eggy shaped. Like, right? It has, like, a fat kind of shape when it's closed. So, it's not maybe the best pocket saver. But, man, when I tell you guys. <laughs> it's expensive, though, man. Look at Four that beach. I have used <laughs> yeah, it. Used I put a screaming edge on yeah, that Yeah, well, I wrecked it. Look at it right now. Yeah, you did. I wrecked it. Oh, the two. And uh, man, this thing. This is where honing cares. comes in place, guys. Honing. You got to hone your badges, man. Okay. You guys. Shout out to the Bang Gang Squad. So, this reminds me a lot of the Mini Goblin. Um, A lot, a lot. The Best Tech Goblin. I'm sorry. I don't think it's called the Mini Goblin. Ding, 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 ding. Ding it. Ding it. Thank you, Nick. Nick, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Happy thank anniversary. You. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you, brother. Your comment matches my knife. You're very um, kind. And oh my gosh, and his picture is a nuke. That is so weird. Oh shit! <laughs> Literally, what the we're heck? looking at the nuke it while we're looking at the nuke. So um, nuke nuke him. Anyway, so yeah, it's really really awesome. Looks aside, this thing is a functional beast. That choil and the, the handle shape, it's very similar to the Best Tech Goblin, except for it's actually probably more usable for a lot of people. I use the Goblin like nothing, but as you can see, this one, I have some extra space sticking out. This thing is amazing. Now, it's not going to, like, it's a great fidget or two, like, if that's the thing you care about, I suppose. Like, it opens, deployment options are great, right? But the only thing I will say, though, is the hole is a little bit uh, sharp. Yeah, it is. It's very sharp. Yeah, it's really sharp. So it like tears you up a little bit. Yeah. But man, so, when, I, when I'm cutting it through flaps at work, guys, I don't even have to. Thank put you. Any thank you, brother. Effort. It's just me. 13 years. I think we're at five. We were saying four earlier, but I think it's five actually. It's actually four. 2018. We've been together two years prior to that. So like all together six, but like married four. Okay. Um, so next I have, and this is the first time I've gotten to try this. I've always wanted to try it. I probably should wait so you guys can see it for the first time tomorrow. But is it for me? No, to hold, but you can hold it. The Savivi Dogma. Oh, I I've never seen this we've seen it, we've never tried it. Trust me, we've never tried it. I've always wanted to try it. I know the Savivi Dogma. I got an all blacked out because I thought that looked the most badass. They do have multiple different versions of this. Now, the awesome thing about this. Is it is super thin. This is like crazy thin geometry. Very deep hollow grind. It's probably twelve thousandths behind the edge, um, and then it also has a thin blade stock. Now the handle is arch really good, which is typically what I would want is an arched handle like that. So it's pretty comfortable, except no except it's comfortable, but it is slim. Just a little bit. It's like, it's on the brinks of being super comfortable. Like this is just super comfortable. The Praxis. But this is where it's comfortable, but it could be just slightly more comfortable. And it is the the, the thing with the, it being slim and the clip. Dennis, holy cow, 45 bounce. Thank you Dennis, so thank much. you. Thank That's you really so kind, much. That is you. so kind. Thank you, you man. You are all kind. Thank you, everybody who donates, man. You guys are awesome and wow. definitely help keep this channel afloat. That's crazy, man. Um, 
Yeah, thank you, it man. always blows my mind. The action is so good on this, but it has such a thin blade stock, so the, the, the flipper tab is also thin, and it's a little sharp because it's so thin, but works great. Then you have the hole deployment, right? You have the hole, so you can reverse flick it. But the one downfall for me is it has a little bit of a trailing point. Not much, though. It's all, it's a clip point. It's almost, yeah. almost. It's a little clippy for me. Almost a drop point, but it is a clip point. But it's still, let me see this. Let's look at it. It's not cut the pad. It's still easy to get to the tip. So I would have no problem utility cutting with this. A little tiny bit higher than I would prefer, but the tip or sorry, the center of the pivot lands about right here. Come on, focus, you fuck. The tip lands about right there, so it's a little bit high. Or sorry, the center of the pivot. So it's a little bit higher than the center of the pivot. But yeah, I would, I like it a lot though. Like it's a really good one Whoa, for sure. That flung open. It, flung it's hard open. to get on camera because it's, it's all black. It's doing its thing right now. Wow. What do you yeah. think of it? So, I mean, it's really, I not like your style. It's not my style, but like action wise, like, um, it has definitely that, um, I don't want to call it loose action. Cause that makes it sound bad, but like flings up really smooth, comes down really smooth. Um, you know, it, it, anyone who likes this style will like the knife. Let's put it like that. What, um, fair, but you could use that tip still though, right? I just don't like it because instead of just you don't really like trailers. easily being you don't able like to trailers. be like this, I have to be like, Nyeh. Nyeh. Some people are saying that's the best knife from Civivi. Well, they're wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm just I, mean, saying, I think Metal Complex You can exist in I want the world you to tell me what you think about wrong the front if you want. So I would say that this is very, very good. If this was a spear point or a drop point, this would be so amazing. And it already is. Trust me, this thing would slice like a demon. I can't do this. But the Praxis is still, for a user, <clears throat> still better. Now, the blade geometry on this would cut better, but with the Ergos, this is going to cut better. I guarantee it. Maybe I should do a contest. I should do a contest with like five Civivis, all with 17 degrees per side edges, and see which one cuts the best. Do you remember that one time we got a comment? I think it was like a long time ago, and the guy was like, <laughs> oh my God. And the guy was like, yeah, like I could go watch a different channel. Where people are wrist flicking their knives. I know. And I know. like, uh, what? Like what? We Who were not wrist flicking. As if you go like this every time you flick a knife, you go wham. Yeah, he was actually like, we like, it was back in the day when Jarek would more Jarek. Yeah. <laughs> Jarek. Who the fuck is Jarek? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, no, you would flick the knives a lot more in the video more incessantly, you know, and I think he was just annoyed by it and was like, Wrist freaking knife. anyway, can I talk about this? Hey, you know on. what? Listen, saying if MC said it, making it, it make the only it thing factual, that's factual that MC that ever like, said, the only thing he ever said that was factual was that Neve's knives was coming for him. That's yeah, about it. Okay, that's like saying that if you read it on the internet, it's true. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's just get that clear. Yeah. And um, don't forget, Neve's knives is coming for uh, MC. Even we even, are? Nick, even Nick Shabazz has what? stated it. So now you now you know what's a fact. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go anyway, ahead. this knife. Uh, okay, let me let me. I want to price guess it. I don't really know this knife. Let's see here. All right. So this is the this is the knife. I can reverse flick this. Well, aren't you the best? It needs a hole. It needs a hole. Go ahead. Sorry, baby. Ha! Sorry, I couldn't deny that one. That was, that was like going, got him. All right. <laughs> okay, so this is the knife. Okay, okay. It's super blurry. All right, so I don't know this knife at all. It's kind of heavy, a little heavy. I don't know if that's just because I've been holding my arm out this whole time, but it feels a little heavy. Um, it's only a front flipper, no other happy birthday, Texas. Go ahead. Options of deployment. Um, I can deploy it really easily. Okay, at first I was having trouble just because the knife itself is pretty long, and that always makes it more difficult. Um, we love metal complex too. That was only a joke, just FYI. Yeah. Um yeah, uh, I think that somebody with the right hand size 
would die and fall in love with this thing. I think it's, uh, in my opinion, it's got that nice quality feel. Like the weight is there to make it feel quality, if that makes sense. Uh, it's what probably that front a off? moderate. That's what I was going to. It's probably a moderately easy front flipper. I think it's easy, but I think that if you've never front flipped a knife, maybe this wouldn't be the right one to get for the first time. What? I I don't know. I say it is the best well, one. Well, you know, I'm that. struggling because it's long. So it's hard well, yeah, for you me have to. Yeah, you have hands. You can't, you can't do that. Well, why don't you give me some knives that are more appropriate for me so I can. Because every knife I'm saying, like, well, I'm I just being like. I gave you this like, one. You like that. Right. Because on these, I'm just being like, well, if it fit my hand, I might okay, like then it. Okay, get it out of your you know, hand. How about I this I still wanted to get the price, though. I can still do that. What do you guess? I guess, without knowing what the brand is, I'm going to guess $80. About 50. Oh, I overshot it. What's 50, the brand? Or 60. That's Migoron. Oh, okay. That's the Migoron Ecri, the new one in 14C 28 on blade steel. And it is a little bit better than the original. It's a little bit to me. I think they beefed up the liners just a little bit. I could be wrong, but it feels like it. And they have the titanium clip, T8 hardware all the way around instead of T6s. The jimping and the front flipping action is still just as good. Where? We got a Probably cracker. Want a cracker. Thank you for the cracker, Jim. Thanks, Jim Barbwe. Jim Barbwe. Jared, to answer the question from earlier, I'm sitting on three customs and a TRM neutron. We got a neutron here and an atom, but here's the atom. Um, have two book spots several months out, but that's it. I'm finished with the secondary. I have a I have a so booking spot too. You're coming back. To uh, seems like you're coming back to production knives a little bit, but you're finished with the secondary. So you're saying I'm only getting on books for you know first time or like uh, where you buy it outright or production knives, right? Um, I think that's awesome though. Um, I'm um, I, I mean, I was trying to get on something uh today and I felt so dumb because I, I had the date wrong. Such oh, an idiot. I didn't remind you. I know, but it didn't matter because the but date was wrong. it didn't matter because what if it was right? I if it was right, you. if it was right, I still failed. Me, I feel but, so bad. But I felt stupid because I I messaged the, the, the owner and I was like, hey, can I get in on one of these? <laughs> he probably read it and was like, are you dumb or are you dumb? Like, this is next week, brother. Okay, here's the next knife. Um, I'm going to just, how do I remove this comment? Just hit one twice. Okay. So here's the next one. It looks like it's some sort of a Ferrum Forge thing. Um, stinger. Stinger. Ferrum okay. Forge Stinger. That's the frame lock version. Just came out. Brand new. Okay. I. Oh. You don't like it? Okay. You don't you like know it? Why? Get it out of your hand. Get you it out of your hand. Get it no, out. I've Get it out. I have an opinion. The people need to know. Um, you hate it. No, I don't hate. I hate the lock. Holy F. It is stiff and sh kind of ow. Okay. Is it to you? No. Why? Because I have big hands. I would think that would make it worse. Do it. Tell me it's not a little stiff, though. I don't like the lock. It's fine to me. But here, try this Maybe one. Maybe I'm also using the wrong hand. Oh, yeah. You're not um, You're not right-handed. I feel so awkward right now, yeah. Uh, why are you handing me massive knives? No, you, you finally got a massive knife. This is what the Ganzo reminded me of. Right here. Why? That. Hold on. I'm all jacked up right now. What are you doing? What are you doing? It, the designs. Okay. It's a line and a knife. How dare they? Okay. A line and a Only knife. Only one person can do that. Okay. It's not allowed. Check it out. Quick, baby. Quick. Supposed to be doing this wow. fast. Do they make a little of this? Yes. <gasps> You've already seen it before. I yeah, have for sharpening. <gasps> I think I have one in right now for sharpening, actually. But what it's a it's a different this? one. It's a double. It's a, it's a slip joint version, though. Resin, resin. That is the XL Slayback by uh, Monterey Bay Knives. Can you get me one? They make a frame lock version. I can try, but I think they're all sold I out. I just want the exact of this, but you want the yeah. I was about to say you don't want the exact. Oh my! You want the regular god. one? God, yo, this ZDP one eighty nine too. Oh my god, baby, this thing is really amazing. You like it a lot. They make a frame lock version. It's really good. The liner is nice and smooth. 
The shape, though, man. Did you man. see the sand my blade? Shape. Did you see the sand my blade? Like the shape? No. Look. Oh, what's with the edge? That's the sand my blade. It's <gasps> ZDP, I like it. It's ZDP 189. He treated it 67 HRC. Watch how stupid smooth this is. Stupid smooth. Well, the other ones, though, like the little ones, they just drop. This oh, one's still pretty I good. Like that now, a lot. check this no, out. No, I don't want to. It's your last one. I don't like it. Would you? You haven't even looked at it. I did. Whoa. Ow. Some stuff happened there. Um, I mean, wow, actually. I can't. Whoa. Look, Don't look, judge look. a book by its cover. Ooh. Yes, Lindy. It's your favorite? Yeah. Ding, 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 yeah ding, I like ding, them, ding, too. I was ding, actually upset ding, ding, at myself ding, ding, that I didn't get in on the ding, little ding, ones. Yeah, what? Lonely Stacker, thank you for the two bones. You, you know what's the worst painful OTS? Oh my god, stitches. yes. I have felt that feeling. I hate that. Um, this is crazy. Can I talk about this? Yeah, go ahead. So smooth to open. Detent's a little light, but it's super smooth to open. They have a fully exposed liner on this thing. It's titanium on the back side. See how exposed. It's exposed. She's exposed. Oh. She's a exposed one. Man, it's so e Oh my god, yeah. Lock bar access. This is probably your <laughs> no, wet fleek. dream of a knife. Like, whoa. That's true. This thing is like access. Why is it ugly though? It's so ugly. Why? It's so ugly. Petrified Here, fish. Why does it say petrified because fish? Because that's the brand, baby. It's a petrified oh, fish. No. So I, I showed this in the video earlier today. Yeah, something like that. But it's gone though. You can't even get them no more. I was right. It is weird, but it's yeah. cool at the same time. It's so smooth. But it's very uncomfortable. So at least in my opinion. I mean, it's fine. You could easily use it. It'd be a great... I did cut some stuff with it already. It's kind of weird he that I already did. Ewing. but It cuts really good, but um, it's not the best ergo. That thing is dope. I love the EWC by MBK. The I, I got the... Um, uh, the e I got one of them. The Integral one. The little integral. This thing, man. Let's see the sides. Let's see what you did to the side. You still got tape on it, baby. I just holy shit. Look at this, guys. I want you guys to see this right now. Some of the stuff I get to deal with when she comes what? home with her knives. You should be happy. You I'm have very a, baby. A wife. Baby, I'm happy. <laughs> just a wife. I'm happy. I was gonna say a sentence. You should be lucky you got a wife. You should be happy you have a wife. No, I'm happy you use your knives, but check this out, guys. Look I at this. A sheet out of them. I'm gonna rub my nail across this. I have micro chipping from here, and then here we have actual chipping, not micro chipping, actual no, chipping. Let's look at happen. it. Hold on, let me. You want, you want to know what no, I just want to show them. I don't really care what happened. <laughs> um, let me just. You could see it. I saw it. I knew that I chipped it too. I knew I chipped it. Yes, thank you, Andrew Tool. I am the queen of using your sheet. Yeah. And your sheet dill. Yeah, she does, man. She every day, like I'll, I'll freshly have an edge. She'll take it, like she'll Wait. just grab a knife. Takes it to work, comes home, sets it on the desk, and I always Google, grab baby, it, and I always <laughs> rub some alcohol on to wipe it off, and then I expose the edge after wiping it clean because it's just covered in shit, and it's like the edges are like this. <laughs> just you know the, the funny all thing, shit. Let me like she took like a um a fence and just went <laughs> down the fence. That's what let, it looks let like. Let me explain too, just to be very clear. I'm not dumb. Like I'm not cutting over steel <laughs> or like trying to cut paper clips in half or something. <laughs> This is from legit use. Like, it's no, not... I know. I'm just giving you shit. No, I know. I'm saying that, you have like, that video online still. Yeah, the day in the life of my knife. Yeah, I did a, a full YouTube video and I thought it was so funny. You guys got to go see that video. Please go watch that video. I'm gonna link it in a video tomorrow, but it's hilarious. Start watch it from the beginning. It's so the funny. Your the are day talking. in the life of a knife. On, I love it from me and. It's hilarious. I'm, I don't want to give it away, but the beginning is so funny. But yeah, um, yeah, I do. I use. I thank use you. I appreciate knives. that, Walt. Um, and like I think just to comment on some knife community shit. Damn right, fugitive. I think that it's interesting that there is Facts. such a controversy over like 
using or not using um absolutely a knife like it's weird like whenever i pick out a knife for the day there are days where i'm like oh i want it to match my outfit just for fun because we have a lot but when I go to work, I have like five knives that I rotate through, and they all are picked solely based not in one on one day, though. You what? mean you have five knives you rotate, rotate through? At, yeah, but not at work at the same time. No, 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 no. Like right. here that I pick. I know what you mean. Um, and they didn't. and I literally sit there and I choose solely based off what I'm doing that day and what I'm going to use it for. And like I know that there's collectors and all that stuff like and and the hobby can be whatever you want it to be. I really don't give a shit if you use your knife or not. Like I think it's better to use them, but if you collect them because you just love them and you think they're pretty like whatever, but just don't talk about how good they like I I don't like when people like that start talking about how like good the knife is because like you don't really know. But like I I, I don't use that many knives. I rotate through the ones that are the best at their job. And then I have my other ones for special days. And when she gets new ones, then she usually leaves one. Yeah, out then I start to rotate. rotate. Yeah, like I get new ones and they slow like the, the, the collection slowly changes. But no, I've been I've been on this one pretty hard lately. And also, um, I I always seem to go back to the McKenna when he sharpens the McKenna for me. I like that one a lot. You're gonna really like or, the wait, the McKenna's the front flipper one, right? Okay. It's over there on the Malaya, knife bench. Malaya, that's the other one. I always you also like the, the McKenna because it's over there on the knife bench right now for sharpening. Mm -hmm. um, the new one she's really going to like is because she's always loved the Yorkie. She's got the new Yorkie with thumb set action. I kind of like it even better than the titanium. Oh, actually, frame I do too. It is so fucking good. It's so good. I do too. I like it better um, than That's a pretty titanium. genius idea for a knife video. Watch it. It's so good. I'm going to do another one, but you got to watch the one I already did. It's so, so funny. I have one on Instagram. His is more <clears> funny. Mine is more serious. I have but like no, a, mine's serious. It's just the beginning is funny. Just the I mean, beginning. There's comedy in it, but I'm saying I have one on Instagram. I mean, you'd have to work to find it. You have to scroll down. Yeah, forever. you'd have to find it. But I did see that. Um, cool I'm just not a big clip point fan, but I do love the Goliath. The Goliath is all badass knife. The original blade is badass. Super good geometry. That That is badass. But it's just, man, that clip point. I'd rather have a drop point or a spear point. You see this? AK, oh wait, okay, 147 watching and 146 like. Who is the one <laughs> person slacking? It's hit that like us. button. Thank no, you, thank us. you. Nope, I hit that damn like button right <laughs> away. <laughs> uh, one more screwdriver and that's it, I swear. Um, Somebody bugging about using your shit. Every, wait, wait, sorry. Favorite piece is my $2,000 Walter Randolph custom, which I 100% use. Yes, I can definitely verify Andrew definitely used his knives. Even when he sent me, he sent me a bunch of knives, high-end knives. That was the first time I touched one of my favorite knives right now, which is an Usler Duck. I love that knife so much still to this day. I've only gotten to experience the Duck and the Duckling one time. Actually, twice because I did sharpen one. But they are amazing. They're like the 2022 version of a Sabenza. Everybody cries about a Sabenza saying, oh, I wish it was, you know, more drop shutty, blah, blah, blah. Try a Noosler Duck. It's just like the Sabenza, just like a 2022 it version. Is. Now, um, and he told me right away, use them. Use them, do whatever you want with them. And I was like, what? Are you sure? And he's like, yeah, I don't care. I use my knives. And I couldn't believe it because these are expensive knives. And he's like, use it, whatever. Um, cardboard or whatever but i won't take it painting neutronis for that sort of shit there you go if you pay for the knife you decide what you do with it i'm in with that comment i agree with it yeah you want to pick the right knife for the job for sure like you don't want to just use like like he said you don't want to use those knives for like painting but like no. something like a neutron is perfect for stuff like that but, um, um, or like a Benchmade 940. I probably use more expensive knives on dirtier tasks than maybe most people would. Because my my viewpoint is that if the knife costs more, shouldn't it be able to handle more? No. I'm saying shouldn't it? No. I'm not saying they do. I'm saying it should go that way, though. No, it's not. You should be getting, getting more out of a knife that you pay more for. Nope. Well, baby, if I have a knife that's G10, right? All right. And then I have a knife that's titanium. All right. And then let's say they both have good steels. Okay. But you're talking about trust... within a certain price bracket. So within a certain price Ooh, bracket, yeah. yes. From zero to $150, oh, yeah, yes, it yeah. goes up. After Once you point, get past $150, yeah. two, probably $250. You're just going it, cosmetics. You're, you're right. Your cosmetics are going up. Yeah. Um, And fit finish in the little fine details. Not necessarily strength, but fine details. Now, should I go for LMAX? Yes. LMAX is awesome. <gasps> 
Yes, definitely go for LMAX. LMAX is a great steal. I wish more knives came in LMAX. Fantastic steal. Q balls in the house. You just got done checking on Q balls knives. Where do you work? You must use so many knives per day. I don't even carry a knife with me. I use it in my house. I don't I work? I... Go ahead. Oh, I no, go ahead. Go ahead. That was for you. Was that was for you. Go I ahead. work at Starbucks. I manage a Starbucks. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't believe the amount of uh, ma- watch my, that video. Watch that video. I'm you a get manager. It. You get I do a lot of fixing, maintenance, kind of fixing machinery. Um, lots of box cutting. Um, bags, packages, stuff like bags, that. Bags, packages, but Break. I would say uh, the majority of my knife work comes in. Sometimes I have to use the back of them for scraping if I don't have something else good enough. Like I'll use like the spine to scrape something, but it's a tool. A lot of yeah, I use them and all. I've used them as screwdrivers before in a pinch, but um, yeah, no, I do a lot of fixing of things, maintenance, um, plumbing kind of work. I do a lot of boxes like i'm just like a jack of all trades within a starbucks store so any type of equipment you see in a restaurant including espresso machines refrigerators things like that i have to know how to troubleshoot and fix on a small basis and a lot of times my knife comes into play on that in some way shape case or form and then other than that it's a lot of just like thick box cutting breaking down cardboard all the time like he said packages things like that um straps oh i cut a lot of straps pallets things like that i cut so many straps a day but no i work at a distillery but i'm probably about to quit my job but no i work at a distillery where we have more cardboard than just about any place you could ever imagine we are from floor to ceiling with cardboard if you watch that video that i'm talking about you'll see exactly where i work and some of the things i do but it changes every day so like one day i'll be cutting straps and cardboard then another day i'll be prying bottle caps and another day i'll be cutting um foam then another day i'll be cutting plastic like it's always different but i did record one of my days of work and like just my whole day of like with my knife and you have to follow around my knife for the day and it was all legit like I didn't bullshit anything. And actually, you guys didn't even get to see half of it. Like I say in the video, like this is how many cuts I did of this thing. But I don't show, you know, all 600 um, cuts. Really quick. You need to hit the bell. Okay. Who is it? Cue ball. Cue ball with the how many bones? Five. With the five bones. Also, Thank you, brother. Jay Freeman said, Jared, really quick. Should I pre-order what? a gripper or get to the two sun TS-328? Say it again. <laughs> Jared, really quick. Should I pre-order a gripper or get the two sun TS-328? Quick, hurry. Which one's the 328? I don't know. Hurry, though. Probably the gripper. Gripper, gripper, gripper. Ah! Gripper. For sure, gripper. I can't think of the 328. The freaking Tucson's, man. If if you said a different Tucson, I would have said pot. No, no, the gripper's awesome. Definitely do the gripper because they're going to switch. Oh, yeah. I want to tell you guys something. Um, So the gripper, I do have the review coming. Now, I can't really carry it because thank you cue ball i do appreciate it brother um and also yeah no problem anytime bud you already know that um it's this that looks pretty cool oh yeah yeah i, I tried that one uh cue ball owns that one um i tried his it had a very light detent i did i think i compared it versus the uh the 177 if you want to watch that video but i would still get the gripper um now the gripper has a bad clip on it right now, but they're changing the clip to basically like a QSP uh, penguin clip. Now I have, I bought a few clips that are on the way. Now they're not for what I bought them for. I bought them as a replacement titanium clip. I don't know what they're going to fit on yet, but they look like a universal clip. If you guys know what I mean. So I pretty, I pretty sure that I'm pretty sure they're going to fit. I bought three of them. I'm pretty sure they're going to fit on Savivi knives and other knives. Okay, we have 12 minutes till we get out of here because we got to head over to Mike Emler's. He's got some Schmidt going on Can over there. Something? Yes, babe, please you say something. Answer that first? Can, yeah, not necessarily. Some of that cost is the finishing, the action, the man hours, and the handcraft, some materials just for looks. There you go. Very true. Very true. Yeah, because when you are hand finishing things and fitting things together really good, and then also, like I said, the fine details, those little details all add up. Then the different cost of materials. And when you're a small maker, you're not buying um, quantities like some of the big companies. And depending on where you're making it at, if it's the USA versus you know, overseas and they're buying shipments of products that are you know so big versus somebody who's buying small shipments. Go ahead, baby. 
Um, I was just gonna say on a serious note before this is over, um, that I just wanted to take a moment to thank all you guys watching and all you guys that support Jared because, um, he I just watch him work really hard every day and I'm very proud of him and proud to be his wife and be here. Oh, baby. Um, you guys you make me blush. You guys make what he does possible um Thank like, you, without you it's not a thing and you make it a thing and you have made him probably happier than anyone ever could and it's literally each and every one of you it's not just one of you in particular or anything like that like you guys completely um have made all the hard work and effort he's put in be able to be something and that's a really incredible thing in this world and this day and time that this is possible um because you know 30 years ago it would have been really hard for him uh, maybe to get a job out of the circumstances we came from. And you guys really just made it possible for him to fulfill his dreams. And I'm I'm just very, very proud of you. And I love Thank you. Thank you, baby. And happy anniversary. I, I appreciate that. I'm happy that. to be here with you guys on this day. Um, Thank you so much, baby. And yes, thank you guys. I do appreciate it. You guys definitely help uh, make what I want to do come true with uh, this whole business and everything. And I'm going to show you, Carrie, right now. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it definitely is making everything come true. And I, um, I'm very blessed to have this channel and all your guys' support. So let me show you guys the Usler custom. This is the knife I was just talking about that Andrew, um, loaned me. Now the duckling is the one you're looking at right now. That's the smaller one. Then there's the duck, the oh, duck, the duck is the full size one. Dennis, Dennis you again, seem to Dennis. Have, holy you, cow. You two seem to have real chemistry and I love seeing that blood blessings to you both. I said blessings. Uh, thank you, Dennis. That uh, means a lot. Let me catch up. We definitely have some uh, real chemistry for sure. I, thank you so much, Dennis. Much One him. more belt. Thank you. Thank you, bud. I do appreciate that. That is so awesome, man. Thank you so much. Holy shit, man. You guys are amazing. Yeah, man. Um, so this is the duckling, and you can tell the difference because the duckling has more belly. Quack. The duck has more of a sabenza like blade shape. I'll show you guys the duck here in one second, but these are all the duckling. Um man, it's Pete's first time catching a live. Welcome. Oh, Pete. Pete, this is not like a normal live, just so you know, because normally I um have topics right now we're doing an anniversary live because it's me and Kara's um anniversary this is the duck right here so you see how the duck i see it you see how the duck has a little less belly this is a full size knife it's about the size of the sabenza the duckling is about the size of the small sabenza but Super smooth action. One of the best details you'll ever find with thumb studs. The thumb studs are incredible. You know how the, the Sabenza's thumb studs suck? Yeah. This has perfect it's one of the thumb studs. I hated about it. And he also allows you to like to switch. I think he has a couple different thumb studs he sets up, sets up, but he has different styles. There's all different kinds of this, as you can see, all different materials. These are so amazing. They're like such badass knives. And like I said, some of the best thumb stud action you could find. But this is the Usler Duck. And here, so you know the name of it. I'll bring it up to the top really quick so you guys can read the top. See the, the name? Usler Custom Knives. Definitely check him out. Cody Usler is awesome. Dang um, Dang I am. Wait, let me catch up. Dang it. Thank you guys for uh, right. joining us. Blades and EDC. Blades and EDC. Congrats to the two of you. And I see big things in your future. Keep killing it. Thank you so much, Thank man. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, I, I do appreciate it. And we do have a lot of big things coming from the channel. We have a lot of huge, Damn, huge Q plans. A lot it again. of Holy shit. Bring it again. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Q Put ball. this towards a night out thank together, you, just man. the two of you. We haven't thank had that so in much. like forever. So thank you. Thank much. you so much. Yeah, we we do have something like that planned coming soon because we do need to to do that. We took a nice walk today. We did. It was nice. It got a little chilly for, though. I, I was cold, but like yeah. I don't know. I just I think that was just me, honestly. She couldn't hang. I couldn't hang. She couldn't hang. Yeah, we will. We will for sure. Thank you for the donation, man. Thank you so much. Strip club money. Strip club. Holy shit. We got some bones Ooh, coming. Bones. Walt, thank you for the $4.99. Thank you. Boost Shack with the five bones. Happy anniversary. Thanks to both of you for your commitment to the hobby. Your dedication has helped me make a at least 
a few decisions. That's awesome. That is amazing. Seriously. Yes. That I love that when I hear that. Yes. I definitely yep. love it because I do take it seriously and I get, I get some shitty comments, guys. I get some shitty comments. Like the other day I was talking all good about a knife and then somebody's comment was like, did they pay? Are they paying you to say, or no, how do you say it? He says, did that company pay you? Like, I have an affiliate link, but they're not paying me. Yeah, like, and then I said, I said, uh, I said, no, I said, I've never been paid by a company. Like I get affiliate links, but it's to my detriment to lie about a product. Like if I get a product and I don't like it, I'll say it, but it's stupid. Yeah, if I get the community coming back at you, like, why'd you promote that? Right, shit that's it. You, liar? you will never. It's okay. Put it this way. It is. The best thing I can do is to be honest. And the reason why is because if, you guys like a product that I recommend or that I say is good, then you're more likely to take my advice again and use my affiliates again. You're not likely to use my Ooh. affiliates if you keep getting shit. Andrew! Happy anniversary, Thank guys. you, man. Keep, Keep it trucking. Thank you so much. And custom EDC Nas. With the two boats. Happy anniversary to the both of you. Shout out to the Bang Gang. Thank, Thank you, you man. Thank you. And yes, shout out to the Bang Gang again. Not this weekend, but next weekend. Um, probably next weekend we'll do another live. We're going to set it up again and figure it out. Um, I, I got some more subjects. Here for a few too because I can't really work on weekends because of my yeah. Mom. Every other Sunday she'll be off, so every other Sunday we'll do the Bang Gang live and she can help out. But I'll be that the the the, the assistant. I will because always. It makes my life have purpose. I will always have topics for just like I do in the regular lives. <laughs> how I write down topics that I want to talk about and you know things that I want to show or whatever. Um, normally, you know, this is a little bit different yeah. of a live, but um, I'm going to do the same thing for the Bang Gang members, but specifically towards sharpening modding things like um, that you keep calling this live different is it different like in a better way because no, i'm here no we're freestyling like is it better or worse it's funner but better? it's better totally better fuck yeah i mean the other ones are shit yeah fuck them fuck don't ever shit. watch them again <laughs> um it went from 41 degrees at 5 a.m to 81 degrees yeah, at 3 damn awesome. we only got the 50s today but it was kind of windy what time is it two more four time more minutes go. four more minutes hey guys make sure you guys jump gotta, over there end it with a song like the I used fatina to. um make sure you guys jump over yes it is awesome ain't it care shirt Make sure you guys jump over to Mike Emler's Crazy Sharp. He's going live, and he's got some cool shit happening over there tonight. So go and jump over there. We're going to jump over there for a few minutes right after this. Um, what should I sing? Bang Gang Live was really good vibes. I don't know. What should she sing? I need to sing. Let's do it all the way she used to do it. I need to sing it out. I don't know what to sing. Uh, Do the Beatles. Beatles? Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Ready? 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 Wait, wait, wait. Three, <laughs> yeah, three minutes. You should wait two minutes. Okay, fine. I'll wait two minutes. I need to eat din din. I know that feeling, Andrew. Um, we got into the seventies today. The temperature, not the decade. <laughs> 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 I, <don't know. laughs> I wish it was the seventies. I do. I do. I do. Um. But yeah, with the gripper though, I do got the full review coming soon. I know he did drop a few more, um, but yeah, these things are pretty awesome. They're really, really awesome. They uh, they have like a kind of a I don't want to say tactical because when you say tactical to me, the only it can't be a tactical blade and be this shape, and it can't be a tactical blade and be this thin. That's not to me. I take it like certain words. I take what's the word for that? If you take something seriously. I mean, like, take it seriously. I know there's a word for it though. Anyways, I kind of take it to heart. So to me, this can't be a tactical mm -hmm. blade, but it kind of has a little bit of a tactical self-defense aspect to it. So I would say it's a EDC slash self-defense knife slash possible work knife possibilities, but uh, mostly EDC and like self-defense. It can't be tactical because it can't really pry nothing. It's not going to be a stabber. You know, those type of things. It wouldn't be good in the jungle. You know, it'd be good in a fight, but that's about it. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, Jared. I do appreciate it, man. With the five votes. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. All right, Carrie, you're going to sing the Beatles? <coughs> All right, let's, let's get it. You say yes. 
I say no, you say hi, and I said the wrong word. Oh no, <laughs> you say goodbye, and I say hello. I don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. Hello, hello. I don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. I say hi. You say hello, you say why, and I say I don't know. Peace out, guys. Oh, no, you say goodbye.